Hey guys, welcome to Alston Wargaming. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. Uh, today we've got Imperium versus Raven Guard. This was filmed just after the FAQ released, so it is current uh, Space Marine uh, meta, as it were. Um, this video was originally released on HellsonWarGaming.co.uk um, as a premium exclusive um, video. Uh, however, since we can't currently film because of the uh, lockdown restrictions, then we thought we'd release this one on YouTube as well. Uh, it is looking like things are starting to ease up, so uh, which is good, which means we'll be able to get back to filming quite soon. Uh, but it does mean that the three videos that are currently free to watch on the website, the um, Maggot King vs. Cities of Sigma, the Imperium vs. Chaos uh, for 40k, and the Astro Militarum vs. Admech, they're currently free to watch on the website, but they will be returning behind the paywall come the end of lockdown, so probably soon. Not sure when, but it seems like soon. So if you do want to watch those, make sure you do tune in. Um, otherwise, if you want to watch way more, way, way, way more videos than we already have on YouTube and watch them ad-free as well, then you can tune in to Hellstone More Games Code EK, subscribe for three ninety nine a month. And you get access to all of those videos. You also get access to our exclusive Facebook group, Hellstone Wargaming Premium Community, where it's a really, really good bunch of hobby, hobby related slash competitive dudes, um, all chatting in there and all getting on. It's a great. So uh, if you're interested in that, then do check it out. Otherwise, enjoy the video. It's a glorious day. Everyone is going to jump off my bandwagon and start playing other armies. They'll play Grey Knights. They'll play Blood Angels. They won't play Space Marines anymore. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. Jackie I'm going to be top. Now. I'm going to be top Space Marine player once again for 2021. So call it now. Maybe. When's probably not. the next Faith and Fury book? Thingy, Psychic Awakening. That's the one. When's that coming out? Because that'll probably have more Space Marine rules in it. And they'll fix That's it Space Wolves. That's so orcs, this. and then it's knights and admech and dark knights and dark handbeck. They're going to fix the space marines either way. You Probably. Just, just enjoy your snowflakeness for yes. For no month. So today's a great day. Obviously, this is it, it. hasn't happened today for you guys. It was for last week, but for today, for us, is the day of the FAQ of, for space marines. It's like not even twelve hours old yet. This FAQ. No, it's literally like a few hours ago. Um, obviously, we didn't get it early, so we couldn't make a video on the day but someone else did, so you've probably already seen it. So you know what, exactly what's happened. You've seen all the memes, because I shared loads of them. <laughs> My Facebook absolutely blew up, but that was great. Um, but yeah, so Raven Guard got a big nerf, Iron Hands got a big nerf, Space Marines in general got a big nerf. But I think they put them in a good place. I think they put them in a fairer place. They put them a back in equal in place. their place. Equal level. Everyone has a great time. So Raven Guard, I knew the new hot nurse, everyone, because they want to be in the Tactical Doctrine. And you can deep strike everything. They didn't really get a suffer a nerf because they want to be in tactical anyway. If you if you're still alive on turn four, then they've probably won anyway, or they've already lost. I feel like I'm going to need some sort of tactical te tactical masterstroke to beat these. Ta tactical masterstroke. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna need something like that's gonna really take some brain power to beat some Raven Guard. So the easiest time to play in 40k. I like to say that because it winds you up. But yeah, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so we're playing new ITC once again. I'm using Raptors again because they're really strong, and I like to show them off. And I enjoy playing them because they're a different playstyle to Imperial Fist or Iron Hands. But you're using Imperium. I am. I'm using a bit of soup. Yeah, we've got an absolutely beautiful knight that Neil is using right here. Well, there'll be some close-up pictures soon. Uh, his link's in the description. Uh, he's really, really cool. We met him in Amsterdam, and he donated this really nice knight. Uh, so he's an absolute legend. So make sure you check out his Instagram. And it does lots of hobby really, stuff. Really it's really, nice. really cool. Uh, so we're playing the new ITC. Uh, we're playing with LVO standard terrain. So we're using the Gothic runes to kind of make a standard mat again. Yeah, very much sort of mirror nails. Yeah, I'm using all the new ITC rules. So if Mark Fidef is 120 points, Defender rolls two, we roll in doubles and picks the which one they want. All action against. No C's. No C's, obviously. That could be. But it should be interesting because I give up gangbusters, but you give up loads of big game hunter. Like nine I, points a big game hunter. I, I, to be fair, after turn one, normally just give up. Yeah, this is true. But we'll see. I'm going to try some new stuff out. Neil's trying some new stuff out. So let's go and have a look at the mission and the armies first, and then the mission. That's how we do things. Welcome to our Sun War Gaming. I'm really tired. Hello. I'm streaming Newcastle tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I am too. Woo! So, guys, we have the Imperium. We have. The mighty Blood Ravens. Knights. Nice. Versus. <laughs> there's, <Fluff. a>, there's a flop. <laughs> and guard. And a cool new looking knight. Which is actually a gift. Oh, it's on Instagram. From, from you. I will link his Instagram. I can't his Instagram. It's, it sounds it's, really it's cool. It's down here somewhere. Yes, I'll Maybe put his link, there, link to his Instagram or, or um, in the description below. But he, he like donated this absolutely beautiful knight. It's his personal knight that he hand painted himself. And he's absolutely lovely, but make sure you go and give him a follow and thank you again. This is the first time he's using it on the channel. This is the first time he's using it on the channel. When you're using it and I'm not. Cool. But it is super nice, it's got loads of tribal and it's like tattooed basically, so it's 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 there, but yeah, it's really nice. So thank you again to get and um yeah, his links in the description below. So anyway, Neil. So knights and guard. So yeah, so I've got two detachments. Mm -hmm. I've got a knight household lance detachment. You've got a Questorius Mechanicus. Yes, that is Crast. Yes, so we've gone with the uh, Crast House mm -hmm. uh, for all the combat goodness. Yeah, you also get the first knight as well, which is really good. Yeah. So we'll start off with the first knight, my mm -hmm. warlord. It's a uh, knight crusader, kind of the typical build I mean, we've all seen Mikey's Knights before so we've got yeah. the rapid fire battle cannon we've got the it's not uh, the most optimum loadout but there you go no, no he's not Chaos Knight so you know yeah the battle cannon uh, he's got the Avenger Gatler cannon mm -hmm. which is going to be Endless Fury because Endless Fury it's good uh, and he's got the Storm Spear Rocket Pod the mm -hmm. three big heavy hitter mm -hmm. the direct fire one and obviously his flame is two stubbers sure uh, Warlord trait for him is the first knight so he gets to re-roll ones of all those tasty hits very good and backing him up we've mm -hmm. got a knight errant which has got thermal cannon and a uh, thunder strike gauntlet yeah again that probably should just be another crusader to be honest we might have to stick a battle cannon on him i think uh gatling cannon sorry yeah but then you can't throw things no you can't you just kick them instead not that that ever works but you know no. you never know yeah um, and then we've got a Knight Gallant mm -hmm. who is going to be using an Exalted Court to get an extra Warlord trait sure which is Landstrider Longstrider no, Landstrider so he gets the extra 2 inch to his advance and charge rolls mm -hmm. which you know being a Gallant we all know what they do it and works. we know why he's got that so it does uh, and then lastly we've got the rather special Knight, uh, knight Warden yeah the fluff that feels like it's going to fall off sorry. so and again he's got the Avenger Gatling Cannon and the uh, Reaper Chainsword mm -hmm. uh, and the Stubber and the Flamer that everybody will always forget about yeah I'd say it's a cool convertible because it's actually a Battle Cannon but then it's a I think it's a Hellhound Flamer and then it's a custom built Gatling Cannon which yeah. is really cool it's actually brass as well which is nice the barrels actually look like barrels yeah yeah so, I'm going to have to message him to make me some more so I don't have to buy Gatling Cannons <laughs> So that is the uh, Knights nice. Detachment. Cool. And then we've got the Loyal 32 mm -hmm. with a twist. With a twist. So a box. Got, 
got the, the, the metal box. Mm -hmm. So we've got step or rode it in. That's how they got that. Uh. Um, so we've got a company commander with mm -hmm. his chainsaw, his last pistol, and his orders. Nice. And we've got a tank commander mm -hmm. who's got a battle cannon and a heavy bolter. Mm -hmm. And he's got a relic. Yeah, paid two CP on that bad boy. So about three CP. We bought. So we've put in the fact that he's he's been detached from a tank company, from an Empress Fist tank company, mm -hmm. which then unlocks the relic mm -hmm. for the Hammer of Sundrance. Yep. Which Very is good. the good battle cannon. Mm -hmm. Not that any battle cannons are bad, but this one's just That's the good one. Good. Flat flat uh, three damage flat three. is always good. Um I'm playing with this knife, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me two HQs for the Battalion of Guard and yeah. then we've got there's also a tank case oh he's also a tank case can you remember what it's called no but <laughs> is it in there it should be main battle tank slow and purposeful so he gets to reroll ones to wound which mm -hmm. with a battle cannon against space marines spoiler good I've heard it's good yeah two two rolling yeah because obviously it says reroll a wound or all of one but obviously because of fast dice then it's all wounds of one technically presumably because you're a one at a time you can reroll a wound or all of one overall the one I can reroll it now I'm going to roll my second wound it's a one I can reroll it for example and obviously with this being <coughs> uh, Acadian detachment they get to reroll ones to hit if they don't move very good which is very tasty and obviously yeah. I've got the very unique nobody's ever thought of before incredibly specialised three units of ten infantrymen yeah doing a little bit of a mix for models today aren't we so because I've got 30 guards and painted all the same but they have mortars in there but it, Neil couldn't afford them it, it's basically because Mikey doesn't have enough knights to make a 2000 point knight army he's got either too I'm, many I'm closer he's got too many or not enough I'm closer <laughs> So, yeah, we yeah. basically threw in a loyal 32 and then realised we could take a commander out and put a tank commander in. Yeah, which so was painted by Paul, my, one of good friends, Paul. He's a subscriber as well. I, I did buy them off him, though. I didn't gift them. So, But they are really nice. I've got three tanks like that, so which is really yeah. cool. So, yeah. So, and that is my army for a That's total list. 14 command points minus the however many That's it is I've spent like three to do whatever maybe. it is I've done. Four, yeah. Something like that. I think it's ten. ten. Yeah, very good. So that's it, Neil's list. So let's go into my list. Okay, guys. So 2,000 points off of Raptors. Raptor Raven. Because I'm showing off the character who's broken again. And I still think he's broken. Um, I think he's a. I, I think for the points, the, re, the character I'm talking about, if you haven't seen the YouTube video already, is Lias Isodon, which is the Forge World Raptors character. With the new supplement, like, it just makes him absolutely bonkers. A new supplement nerf. Yes, the new nerf supplement, but still. So, I have two detachments, I have double battalion once again. If you saw the YouTube video, it's a slightly different list. It's similar, but ever so slightly different. Because obviously, Raven Guard have been nerfed. Master of Ambush cannot affect Centurions anymore. Uh, which is okay I guess I mean it makes sense I mean this first of all they stopped doing it on Chaplin Dreadnoughts because that was the thing because the chap because it said one character and then any infantry unit so you could infiltrate a Chaplin Dreadnought and then the Centurion unit you sometimes feel that maybe Games Workshop forget things exist as much as I love Games Workshop and as much as I watch the, <laughs> love the game I just think they just write stuff because it sounds cool Master of Ambush what's it doing let you move a unit yeah and then the designer's commentary came out and basically said, we wouldn't think that people would take a competitive army. We think they'd take a combined arms army, which is not a thing. I mean, it was. It used to be. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Master of Ambush has been nerfed. But, and then obviously doctrines have been changed. So you have to move through the cycle. But for Raven Guard, they actually came out on top because their nerfs aren't too bad compared to Iron Hands for example because you want to be in tactical anyway you can have that for two turns Master Rambush is obviously a big change but you can you can do it a little bit differently and still have some good effect yeah. so I have double battalion I have my warlord who's a chaplain and I found his jump pack put it in a box safe I have a chaplain he's my warlord he's got one he's got a wise orator and he's a master of sanctity so he's got two litanies catechism of fire and canticle of hate and he can re-roll to pray or whatever they call it to, to shout angrily. To shout, yes. Exactly, because that's his wallet trait from Faith and Fury. Then I have a lieutenant who is the hero of the chapter. It's like Lieutenant Hellstorm. And um, he's going to be taking Master of Ambush. So he can't do it on Centurions, but he can do it on something else. 
Then I have three units of base scouts because I've dropped some of the troops and I'll tell, talk about why. Three units of base scouts and then in the elites I have a unit of centurion assault squad with flamers and bolters. How many though? You have five. And then you've got five aggressors because you can ambush them. You can't ambush centurions, but you can ambush aggressors, obviously, because why not? Because they're only like two thirds the size of a centurion. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's those. Then I've got a Thunderfire cannon. Can you never ambush that? No. Sadly not. Thunderfire cannon. Then I have a Grav Devastator squad with the Armorian Cherub and all that shenanigans usual and then a drop pod which is again just standard because turn one deep strike or two yes or three um, I should have also in that battalion I have a Grav a Devastator Centurion squad with bolters and Grav cannons again so you can have two turns of uh, you can deep strike the Grav or either one and then drop them in one turn after another and get full effect of the gravitic amplification stratagem. This has got very 7th edition vibes going mm-hmm. on here. Mm-hmm. Grav cannon, deep Don't striking, like infiltrating, blowing getting, stuff up. You'll be getting three rhinos next. Yeah. I should say that I'm using slightly different chapter tactics once again. I'm using uh, long range marksmen, so I get plus 3 inch range on all of my guns, so my flamers can shoot out of deep strike. And I've also gone for hungry for battle, so plus 1 to charge. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I've got um, in the second battalion. I have Elias Isadon, who does not have a wall trait this time, but he has his own ability called Master of Ambush, which is the same as the new one. <laughs> but that means that. he can deep strike along with three other infantry units that aren't primaries, terminators, or centurions. So it means I can deep strike loads of scouts. So to stop deny you early kills and put them all over the board for something like recon, which I haven't chosen. I mean, <laughs> it's a very as much as it's probably quite a strong idea of play, it's quite fluffy for Raven Guard. Yeah, exactly. It, it pre-supplement, it lets you deep strike lots of units for free. I mean, it's really cool. All the grief Games Workshop get for making, oh, this is really good because, and it's like, well, this sounds sounds like I don't know what it's going to play like, but it sounds like this actually is quite Raven Guard like mm-hmm. because not every Raven Guard has a jump pack. Some of them no. are quite sneaky. Yeah, exactly. So, but as I said, without the supplement, it's really cool. But with the supplement, it means I save loads of CP because I can deep strike them anyway. Yeah. So I've got Leia Say said on. I've got Chaplain Dreadnought. He's got Cataclysm of Fire. He's also got a Twin Last Cannon. And then I've got a unit of Scouts with sniper rifles, and then two units of Incursors once again because I like I quite like them. The Iron Infiltrator models, but I'm using them as Incursors. And obviously, Lias, there isn't a model, so I'm using a Phobos Captain to represent him because he has the same amount of wounds. Oh, it all looks alright. It all looks cool. Yeah, exactly. And he's got long hair, so he's a bit Raven Guard. It's actually Shrike's head, so it's closest to Raven Guard I've got in my army. He's actually got Shrike's head. I actually got Shrike's head, yeah. So that's my list. Uh, I start with about six C, no, not six CP, about nine CP. About nine. Yeah, nothing. Probably be spending two or three for deep striking. So they're the two lists. So shall we go and have a game? I mean, we don't have to. Hopefully, I get to go first. Okay guys, we are deployed. The mission is priority. Precious cargo. Priority precious cargo. Thank you. Summit. Priority orders received. <laughs> yes. This is precious cargo. This is precious cargo. So it's five objectives. One is placed in each corner, twelve and eighteen. And then one is placed in the centre, which is new. There wasn't one in the centre before, you know? No, I didn't 
Yeah. We've also slightly changed <laughs> how you score the bonus point. So it used to be hold your opponent's pro precious cargo, which is that's Neil's, yeah. and this one's mine. But now it's um, hold that one or three other objectives. Which is a little bit more achievable, I think. Which is a little bit more achievable to say there's five objectives on the board, which is really good. So obviously, the, Neil's moved that one six, I moved this one six. Neil, you're going first. One day I'll be able to show people how cool Raven Guard are turn one. Nobody can show anybody how cool Raven Guard are, it's the whole emo vibe. So I'm going to say, Master of Ambush Boys over there. Um, so, Neil, you deployed first. I so, don't talk to me about your supreme tactics in deploying knights on the front line because I can't so, see So, my. Knights players tactical genius within me. I've put one there. Yeah. Put one there. Right. I've put one there. One yeah. And he's a nice one, he's different that one. He is, yeah. Yeah. We've already gone through that. I've put one there. He's one there. <laughs> okay. So we've got my errant, yeah. my gallant, my warden with the gallant, right. and then the crusader at the back with my warlord. Great. Uh, I've got a sneaky Lehman Russ commander down here. Mm-hmm. We've got one unit of ten guardsmen. Yeah. One unit of ten guardsmen. So those two are basically anchoring my uh, objectives. objectives. And then you've got now. one in the middle. And then I've got one with, with the company, company boy. commander in there. Okay. No guesses of what they're trying to do. Yeah. Move, move, move. Enough. They Probably. are my ultimate supreme deployment tactics that nobody will surpass. Very good, Neil. I'm very proud of you. You've been learning, haven't you? I have. Very good. So for my deployment, obviously I'm going second with Raven Guard once again. So it's a little bit more difficult, but I'm trying to hide as much as possible. So I've decided to deploy the Centurions because I feel like I can at least get a turn one alpha with the Grav, which would be quite nice. Um, the Chaplain just behind them and this Chaplain just up here, because of trigonometry, he will never be close unless you kill all the Centurions. Which hopefully turn one you shouldn't be able to do. Probably not. I probably won't even see them turn one to be honest. No. So we've got a unit of curses here. We've got a unit of curses over there. We've also got Thunderfire Cannon and a Lieutenant. And then we've got a unit of scouts over there. And then everything else is in Deep Strike. So the drop pod has the Grav Cannons, obviously. Surprisingly. <laughs> and then we have Aggressors and Assault Centurions paying 2 CP to Deep Strike with. Uh, I can't remember what the stratagem is called. It's going to come up on screen now. It's not Infiltrate. It's not strike from the shadows, it's something else. It's info sh info shadow trait. Info shadow, shadow trait strike. strike. Cool. <laughs> then Lias and three units of scouts are in reserve because they can deep strike himself and three other units. Shall so we? I think we're up to about nine hundred and eighty points in deep strike. Y yeah. Because we're up was, to eight hundred and twenty and then it was eight ten plus something else. One hundred and sixty five. Yeah. So Mike okay. is only using half an army to start with. Currently, yes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, obviously using Lias' full ability this time, not like I did in the last battle report, which you might have seen on YouTube. But yes, Neil, you're currently going first. I am. Do you want to seize? I would love to. But wait. I've got to, I've got to go through the onslaught, which is turn one of Imperial Knights. But I said, I've hidden quite well. Anything you can see is a character, so hopefully it should be okay. Secondaries. Yes. Secondaries. I can remember this. Can you remember what you went for? So I've gone for... Gangbusters. Gangbusters, because that. you've got quite a bit of elite stuff with the That's Centurions it, yeah. and such. Yeah. I've gone for Recon, because mm -hmm. I can remember how it works, and I know I can do that with Knights, which yeah. is getting each four corners. So it is. And Headhunter, which has killed four characters, which has killed his four characters. I actually have five characters. Well, I've got a Tech Marine Gunner as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a character. Right. Two, dri two Chaplains, that's three. Lieutenant, that's four. Lias, that's five. Cool. And that's it, full stop. It'd be easy then. So I don't even yes. know why we're playing this, it'd be easy. <laughs> so I've gone for Big Game Hunter because he's got knights. So I killed two knights, I maxed that out. I've also taken a bit of a different one. I've taken sappers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and turn some objectives off now. Who are your sappers though? My sappers are the drop pod. Yeah. And the unit of scouts who are in deep strike, the ones with bare faces. Because they don't have helmets, because they're slapping. They're having, this, they're having a slip of the objective, like. <laughs> Like that. That's how it works, right? Maybe. I don't know how it works for the drop pod though, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just tries to extract fuel from it. It like just it. saps the fun out of the objective. Yes, exactly. So there might be sappers. <laughs> drop pods are never probably never gonna shoot anyway. And it means they can sit on an objective, annoy Neil, and um, yeah, we'll see. Should be fun. So that's everything. So you get to go first. Hooray. Are you ready? Yay. What's coming up next? Hooray.
Okay guys, end of the movement phase. The knight's playing a super aggressively. The gallant is advanced. Gets plus two, but you only rolled a one. Naturally. <laughs> Some things don't change. <laughs> yeah. The uh, new warden has moved over. He's got a bead on some of the incursors, which are chilling over there. Uh, this Eren has line of sight to nothing. No. Well, he does. It's just they're all characters. Yeah. The tank commander potentially can see this guy is poking his head out there. Yep. And then the guardsmen have jumped onto that objective to secure, secure you the bonus point. Yes, in one. They advanced five inches, Very so good. I don't need to move, move, move them no. right now. Exactly. So, fairly quick, fairly short movement phase. No psychics, let's go into the shooting phase. Okay, guys, so the warden is going to start first. He's going to put the Gatling and the Heavy Stubber into this unit of incursors. Uh, I don't think I'll um, transhuman. So, off you go. Okay. So, it's just threes. Yeah. Uh, Raven Guard, is it minus no, one? No, 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 that's if I was using a normal chapter tactic, which I'm not. Okay. And three's to wound. Not bad. Not great either. That's, well, actually, yeah, that is bad. Okay, that's, bad. <laughs> that's quite three. bad. Three. Three. So, three four ups because I'm in cover. So, I lose three dudes. So, I'll take them off now. Oh. And then the stubber. One hit. Hooray! Doesn't move. Okay. All right. So that's it. Okay. Now, the hammer of Sundarans. Big boomstick. Yeah. So it shoots twice. So two d six shots. Uh. Yep. So seven, seven shots. Tasty. So they are Cadian, but I did move. Yeah, you did. So. Okay. So two d six. Nice. He could have ordered himself to reroll once to hit, I believe. Tank order? Yeah, could have. Yeah, do you want to reroll the one? Go on then, because you, you're being nice to me. No, shouldn't be nice. And obviously, my tank case does like these reroll ones to wound as well, so. Yeah, so two to reroll in. So that is six wounds. Six wounds. Minus two. Minus two, so you can cover, so minus one. Okay, so I lose two dudes. Three damage. So I'll take the one you can see, and the next one you can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, yeah, no. I mean, I can see the scouts, but you'll take the one off that's closest to charge. So I that's it, I will. I'd rather just kick him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the shooting phase, so charge phase coming up. Charge phase, that one scout is going to shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't hit. Okay, Neil, you need a, a not a humongous charge, but a big one. It's an eight inch charge. You get an eight. Okay, we'll just measure it up and make sure he's in was a good play if that was a bit more this way yeah. so the knight's in obviously it was just it was within an inch now so you can pile in if you want to um you know what i actually do yeah why not i do um although I'm, I'm, not? I'm actually going to go that way though because i've just realized if i keep going that way the chaplain dreadnought is just going to go oh hello he is going to just one bomb you yeah a bit of, a, a bit of a nasty day speaking of which i completely forgot to do my litanies but we'll do that in a second <laughs> Okay, so 12 attacks. Threes. Uh, and I can re-roll because uh, of crest. Yes. Very good. See, I know my rules. I you need to read do. them just before the game. <laughs> Great when you can read a, an easy, a fairly easy army. <laughs> and then just read the rules and remember. Uh, okay, so it's twos. That would be uh, 11 wounds at minus two. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first six. So five are dead, <laughs> and the next five. Ah, oh, there's another four are dead, that's nine. Nine dead, okay. Awesome. We'll take them off and then you'll get to pile in basically nowhere, because you can't move closer because now you're in a building. I don't want to move around anyway, because well, you're shooting sure, me. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. I have no morales, well, I lost three over there. So I lose ship seven, we roll in. Okay, I lose one. <laughs> I think I took the sergeant off. Oh no, well it depends. I didn't actually specify which one's the sergeant, but there's two with the bald head, so we'll say I lose one. And then these guys lost two, so I can only fail on a six. I'm all good. Okay, so I lose one dude over there. So that's kill one, Neil. So I've got to right. kill two to um, yeah. secure me that. And I me that. score the bonus at the end of the player turn. So you I do, yes, yeah, so you get the bonus. So you get kill one, hold one bonus. Uh, do you get any other secondaries? Uh, Recon? I don't think so. No, I'm not in this quarter. Side, yeah. But you can only score that from turn two anyway. No, you can score it from turn one. 
but if you're from turn two, if you have two units in each quarter, you can get two points. Okay. Read that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, end of the movement phase. The Centurions with plus one to wound with Catechism of Fire and plus two to advance and charge on the... Did I put in the Dreadnought or put it in himself? The, which one? the Dreadnought got nothing because yeah. I failed it. Yeah, so he gave himself plus two to charge but I'm saving that. I'm just saving it for later. The Dreadnought did try to do reroll hits but that failed as well. Yeah. So the Centurions have moved so they can all get line of sight. I wanted to keep them all down here but because of their slow movement I've had to go straight up with some of them so they can see. So I'm not wasting their fire. And they can be seen. Well, they can be seen, yes. The Lieutenant advanced, so now I'm getting reroll wound rolls of one. Doesn't matter for the grav, but it does for the bolters. <laughs> the Thunder Fire Cannon stayed still. These guys have stayed still just to hold the objective. I've, not, I've kept the drop pod in reserve because I've already got a grav here. If these die at least 10-2, I have another target for gravitic amplification. Yeah, plus you wouldn't want them to get all spec scanned by a knight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Chaplain Dreadnoughts just shuffled over as well. Um, so I think that's about it. That's all the movement. I'm going to about to spend two CP because I'm going to use Wisdom of the Ancients and Gravitic Amplification. So now they're rerolling hit, hits and wounds of one, and then the Gravity's rerolling all wounds. I'm about to soak fed flashbacks here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so two CP to do that, and we'll go into the shooting phase. Okay, guys. So I'm doing it. All five grab cannons are going to go into him. Well, that means I'm doing it. You're doing it. I'm going to be rotating my ion shields. You certainly are. So he's on a 4 plus in one. Two of the bolters are going to go into the guardsmen, but then the other three sets of bolters are going to go into him. So I'm going to shoot the bolters first. Naturally. With these. Then I'm going to shoot the grav cannons, because that'll be getting plus one to wound on against him. Do you need to fire all your same weapons at the same time? So if no. you fire the bolters with them at the night, do they not have to fire their bolters at the guardsmen at the same time? Well, I could do it either. I was going to do it for uh, for tele television effect, but I could do it that way. Essentially, what I'm saying is, if I shoot these first with the grav and kill the knight, the next closest target is the guardsmen, so then my, I'll also get plus one to wound against them. So I'll get plus one to wound against this. Then when I shoot the next closest visible target, I'll also get plus one to wound against that. Because I roll one dice at a time. Yeah. It's the same as how cover works when you remove the models one at a time and then you gain a cover save. I see. So... So I'll do all the grav first. I was going to do the bolters just to be like, he's only got 10 wounds left. Ah, now I'm going to shoot on the grav. But how many save. bolt shots you got? Uh, that 36. Yeah, so he'd be dead from just that. Probably, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do, shall we do grav first then? Okay, It'd we'll be, be back really in a second. Awesome. Okay guys, grav cannons into the gallon because he's quite scary. So, uh, 20 shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. One, two, That's three, a healthy four, amount of twos, five, though. six twos. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Seven misses, so 13 hits. And then because it's because I've used Catechism of Fire, it's fours, but re-rolling. Okay, so uh, it looks like 11. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven saves, Neil. Eleven, four ups. There we go. Looks well, decent. Mm, it's about, I think it's about 50 50 to be honest. And in fact, well, it, that's well, better than normal. It's 50 50 in your favour. It's 5 to 6, and I failed 6. You failed 6, so 6 D3 damage. Re roll in. Eep. So I'm going to re roll 1s and 2s, obviously. So I'm going to re roll those 2. Uh, I might roll the 3 and be cheeky. Yeah, I'm going to re roll that 3 separately. It paid off. There we go. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 15 no, 14, 15 damage. I might be sick. Yeah. <laughs> he's down to nine. <clears throat> well, you went far up when you said, oh, he's down to ten wounds. <laughs> yes, I did. So then I'm going to do all the bolters off camera, but we'll do the saves on camera just for your viewing pleasure. Yeah. So he's taken 15, he's down to nine. Okay, guys, so because of plus one to wound, 
I've done 11 more wounds. I feel really nauseous. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have... I think you're going to live, but you're not going to have many wounds left, which is nice. Well, we've got 11 saves, I've got 9 wounds, and we've all seen my rolling before, okay. so... So, three ups. Mm, no, he takes fails three, three wounds. So take that. down to six. That's six wounds, okay. So now I'll do the other, we'll do the other bolters into the guardsmen which don't get plus one to wounds, don't they? And unsurprisingly, 24 bolter shots kills 10 guardsmen. Yeah, don't yeah. feel so ill about that one. No, <laughs> no, exactly. So then the chaplain, the chaplain is gonna have to shoot this knight because if he lives, he'll act as normal and I don't want that. And also if I kill him, I'll get, I'll deny you hold more. Well, I'd really like it if you didn't. Yeah. Right. So, please pass. Okay, so the chaplain will shoot his stun bolter first, hitting on twos. Cheeky. Two hits. Three only ones. Thank you. So, four hits. And then six is to wound. Misses. Excellent. Okay, two more dice. Here we go. Last cannon. Two hits. <coughs> no, three. Two. It's a one. How many wounds has he got left? Six. He's got six left. So I have to get six damage if you made one save. I'm gonna do it anyway, CP. Yes! Ah. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Cool. So four up save. Using the CP, Neil. I mean I've got ten. Yeah. So yeah. Go for it. <laughs> You've not got all else to shoot at him like big, big guns other than the Thunderfire cannon, have you? No. Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, so I'm down to what? I've spent two, spent three, so I'm down to four CP. That is not good. That is not good at all. It's great for me. I'm loving it. Loving it. <laughs> so Thunderfire Cannon. Are you gonna shoot some guardsmen? So I could make him shoot twice, I'd be down to 2 CP. How many CP do you need for your uh, grav bomb? Only one. But they'll leave me with one CP, which means I can, can't transhuman. That's unfortunate. It is very, very unfortunate. But I think I need to kill that knight because he's going to charge me in a minute. <sighs> okay, I'm going to spend 2 CP so he can shoot twice. First lot of shots into the knight. 43 shots. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. There's no rerolls on this, is there? No rerolls now. Good. So you're just going to miss then, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, he hits on twos. I mean, he can't. He missed three times. This is the first time you've ever seen a Thunderfire kind of miss. <laughs> Five wounds. Come on now. So that's One, three wounds. One, two, three. That's three wounds at minus two. So four up. Mm hmm. Love it. <sighs> Down to three. Ugh. I'm going to have to get super lucky now for it again. <laughs> I've got to kill him, I can't leave him alive. I mean, you can. Uh, okay, we're doing it again, same amount of shots. I might try and make some saves this time, mate. But you're going to miss. You're going to lose the light. I hit, with more, hit more this time. Yeah, but you're going to lose less. Come on, the four wins. A bit cheeky for me. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. Six wounds, Neil! <laughs> on average he dies! On average he dies! Oh mate, when, when come on. When do I ever roll average? Come on now, come on Neil, I need you to do it for me, I need you to you die. You need to look at what I'm looking Just at. Just roll right average. Now. He looks terrified. Roll, roll average. <laughs> roll average. Go on, roll average. Yes! <laughs> ah! Yeah, I've never been happy, so happy to kill a nice. knight! <laughs> <laughs> Does he explode? No. No, okay. On. Cool, there you go, kill the knight. Very good. <laughs> Cheers. Any time. Bye bye. <laughs> oh mate, I've never been so stressed. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've got I've got another five in reserve, but I don't want them to die. <laughs> so cool. All right, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> so at the end of that, I get kill more. You do. I deny you hold more. You do. But I do get. Uh, did I take old school? I did. I, so I get did. first strike and big game hunter. Yes. Well, two points of big game hunter because that was twenty wounds. Yes. So there we go. Solid turn. So I think I, I think I overtake you by one point, maybe two. 
nine. Actually, maybe more than that. Oh. We draw, we draw on primary, and then I get three secondaries. So it's six three. We'll keep it a secret till the end. Keep it a secret until the end. Because we don't know. So you'll see it on <laughs> screen now because it's Neil's movement phase coming up next. So guys, the litanies have gone off, so I've given plus one to wound on the centurions, I've given plus two to charge on the chaplain, and I've also moved into the tactical doctrine because I have to. Hooray! Okay guys, end of turn two, movement phase for the Imperium. What have you done, Neil? I've kind of, I think I've done something clever. So he's sort of done a three point turn. Yeah, to as get you there. probably so saw he's, the top he's down. basically going to line himself up for a nice running Tag kick of the lieutenant. Turn. Yeah. This guy is giving himself options, mm -hmm. so he's basically going to be my finishing piece. Sure. One of these two, yet to be decided, is going to obviously try and rinse the Centurions. Mm -hmm. If I can kill all the Centurions, he's obviously lined up that he can take on the Chaplain Dread. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't, or if they're still alive and I can't target him, he's got options to try and finish these two guys off. The incursors, yeah. So cool. I'm going to try. I'm trying to get about three kills out of this turn. Yeah. And you're also securing your bonus point with him as well. Yes. Yeah. Is very good because he's obviously not going to charge anybody because it's a bit too much of a, uh, a long run yeah so sure nice dude okay it's so plan. that's the plan it's a plan it's yeah. a plan, it's a plan. <laughs> so that's the end of the movement phase let's go into the shooting phase okay guys shooting phase neil where would you like to start so i'm going to start with the crusader mm -hmm. the first night the first night funny enough because it's the first one i painted exactly exactly uh, he's going to shoot the Centurions with everything. Everything, okay. So, hmm. I'm ready. So, I only have two CP left, which is enough to transhuman. However, I think... I don't think I am. You know? No. Yeah. Because I think with the Grav Cannons coming down for... I'll have a reroll there. Reroll Wounds, which will be good. Against stuff like this and that. Mm -hmm. I'll also have Raven's Blade to reroll charges, which is going to be good for the stuff might like my Assault Centurions, which can come in next turn. Mm. That's my plan. It's a plan. It's a plan. So we're just going to hope and pray. So, Crusader into Centurions, looks like. Let's go. I mean, at least I get cover save. Right. So. I'll start with Endless Fury because I happen sure. to have 14 dice in my hand. You happen to have. So, please take me rolling once because of First Night. Okay. Okay. So then the six becomes two hits. Is that two hits? Uh, or an extra hit? I think it's an extra hit, but I can't remember, so we'll go check. It's two hits instead of one. So that, that's that many hits. So that's one extra. And then three to wound. So four wounds. Why are you giving me your broken dice? Five, Five wounds. wounds, sorry. Minus two. Actually, I'm not technically in cover. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll take it on. We'll take it on the top guy. Minus two, so four plus. So I lose a centurion. Clap. Awesome. Cool. Uh, Alright. Rapido fire battle cannon. Sure. For six, so six shots. shots. Three to hit. Full of us. And then three to wound. And top is five. And that is three wounds. Three wounds. So three at minus two. So four ups. One goes through, D3 damage. So. It's one, one damage. damage. Okay, so he's got three wounds left. Obviously, it's going to be this guy on top. Because I don't want to get shot by the Hammer of Sunderance. Uh, stubbers. <laughs> stubbers. Because you've got you know, chip damage. Very good. Three only ones. So Very one nice. Hit. Good conversion, that. Five. Fives. Anything? No. No. And Storm Spear. Iron Storm. Oh, you're doing, oh is it Storm Spear? Sorry. Big, big, big shooty one. Put me off now, so you made me miss. Sorry, my apologies. 
Nope, just missed. Okay. Oh, well, well that's... Uh, well, that's proved decent for uh, <laughs> the Hammer of Sunderance. <laughs> I mean, you kill the Ted Cherry, that's a good start, Neil. It's a, it's a start. It's a start, yeah. What about you next? Um, I want to shoot with that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> At them. Okay. Uh, for lols. Yeah. Heavy bolter first. I mean, what I'd do is shoot the hammer first because... Oh, he's on three wounds. Because he's on three wounds. So if you happen to do... What you might do is end up with a Centurion on one wound, then the Heavy Bolter can finish that off. True story. So i do the Hammer first. Go for it. So 2d6 shots. Yeah. Nice, eight, eight shots. Oh, might get greedy here. Oh. I might reroll that too, because I want a lot of shots. You do want a lot of shots. I'm going to spend the CP for a reroll. Okay. Because I really want those Centurions dead, because I don't want it. two units of Grav running around the table. No. And it wasn't worth it. <laughs> it became seven, Neil. Who, and you lost the CP for the... Uh, who, who didn't see that coming? No. Okay. I didn't this time, though. No, so two to hit. Reroll the ones because the tank orders. Well, reroll well, the tank orders. Yeah. So, that's all hit. Very At least good. they all hit. And then three to wound. Rerolling ones because of tank orders. Yes. yes, tank A has been awesome. Good job. So, five wounds. Five wounds. And and minus two. two. So, four plus. Ouch, so I take one, two, three, four. So, so first one, one kills one, two, two, three, and then one's on one wound. Neil. Yeah. Awesome. Would you like to shoot the heavy bolter? Was the heavy bolter definitely in range? Should I just double check <laughs> for the, where my dice is? Or just past it? Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, heavy bolter. So, all hit. Yeah. And then falls to wound. Uh, two, two wounds. Two wounds, wounds three ups. Gets him. There you go. Tasty. Cool, so down to one centurion. Very good. So All right. Do you know what's gonna be next, Neil? I might just shoot with a warden. Yeah. You know, I mean the warden can't gonna... really you can't really shoot anything else, him with anything else. And he's protecting the chaplain dreadnought. Is there anything so, else you can shoot, or do you want to have a think? I'll have a think. Okay, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so he's going to shoot the Centurion with the Warden with everything, which makes sense. Gets rid of him, gets yeah. a kill. One less threat on the table, which is always nice. Stick into the plan, kill the okay. Grav. Yeah. So, off you go. Three. Mm, not bad, not terrible. Not terrible. I mean, it's average. Mm hmm. That was decent. Yeah, okay. So how many shiny wounds so is that? Five. Six wounds. Six. Minus two. Six four rubs. Okay, he fails two. Just so he's dead. Just kidding. And seven I'm taking my CP. Alright, so let's kill one and quite a few points for gangbusters. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is that everything for shooting? Yes. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> what would you like to do now? Would you like to charge? I would. Okay, I'll shoot my Mastercraft with Bolt Gun into your Eren. Does he have a wall or trait or a relic? Not that one, though. Okay, so two shots. One hit. Uh, six is to wound. Doesn't wound. Three rolling ones because he's a lieutenant. No. Okay, charge range. You need an eight. Absolutely nailing me with those charges, Neil. Being rude. I just, I just like to run around with my big Doc Martins on and kick stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I'll move in, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so the Errant's in combat. Again. <laughs> would you like to use the fist? I mean, that would be quite funny to be fair. I'll put one attack into the fist. Go for it. Only if I'm allowed to throw you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's no more wounds. You can throw me though. <laughs> so, so do the fist first. We'll do the fist first. It's on fours. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. like a whoo dong? Yeah, pretty much. It is me being super sneaky and quick. <laughs> Very good. So, some hits. Yeah. Uh, I get to re roll these because I'm crashed. I'm crashed. Yeah. I mean, you get to re roll that one as well. You do get to re roll the fifth. It misses. <laughs> Still roll the one. Brilliant, Neil. <laughs> and. Tubes. Tubes, yeah. Okay, so that is how many? That is six. I'm liking doing six wounds today. One, two. So if you roll all ones, you, he's dead. So you take. He's dead. Um, Ten wounds. No. Seven wounds. Nine wounds. Nine wounds, I can't count. Okay. 
That's the lieutenant gone. That's headhunter. And two kills. Very good. Uh, I'm going. Are you enjoying this army, Neil? Sort of say hello. Cool. Yeah. I, I mean, it's probably the most tactically advanced army I've ever used. Yeah. This year, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the, the Neil's turn. You get kill one, hold one. You're gonna get headhunter, gangbusters for two at least, and the bonus. And the bonus. I like I like this bonus scoring in player turn. It's quite nice. And recon. And recon. And recon. It only has to be part of the base. So yeah, we just, we just made sure he is because you got him here. He's in there, there and there, and you got guardsmen here for now. For now. For now. So that's the end of Neil's turn. So let's go into Raven Guard turn two. We strike from the shadows. That's what it's called. The strategy I just remembered. You turned the lights off when you did this. I did, yeah. It is now time for epic epicness time. That's what it's time for. For epicness time. I've decided to keep the drop pod in reserve, but the two chaplains are going to go for this knight. The tech marine has stayed still. He could charge the knight and still be within three of the thunderfire cannon. And the two incursors have stayed still. And these ones have also stayed still. Over here we've had the Sapper Drop Pod, it's Sapper Scouts, not the Drop Pod, Deep Strike. Sapper Scout Pod. Because they're going to try and go for the objective next turn. And then this unit is also Deep Struck here so they can go for a Rapid Fire and then they're charging to some Guardsmen to just try and kill them. And then over here, everything else is Deep Struck. So we have the Aggressors, the Centurions, the Snipers and the Liars. I mean, they were there all along. How did I not see them? And it's time for the Strike. <laughs> That's what's happening. So the Centurions are deep struck, they've got all their guns to bear. They have 11 inch flamers, so a lot of them can shoot tank commanders and knights. True story. And because it's a tactical doctrine, it's AP1. Hooray. And, and, because you're a character, I get plus one to wound. So my bolters and flamers are wounded on fives, not uh, sixes. Hooray. Which is good, because I get so many shots. This is making me ecstatic. Don't have any rerolls, but we'll see. And then this you knight. You got a chapter master in there, ain't you? Uh, not reroll wounds, sorry, reroll hits, but not reroll wounds. Reroll hits with those flamers. Yeah, exactly. Oh. This knight, I don't really know what to do about him. I just think I might him. have to charge him. Just leave him alone. Yeah, exactly. Just leave him. He's not done out to you. Literally so hasn't done out to you. <laughs> well, to be fair. <laughs> so, that's the end of the movement phase. Let's go into the shooting phase. So, these scouts shot into the guardsmen, but Neil used take cover for one CP. I did. Decided so to give my guardsmen a free up save. I wanted to deny him the ability to deny me, so yep. I denied him. A cheap kill and stuff like that. So, they've only lost three. Uh, we shot lot, all the small arms and the tech marine into that knight and did nothing. Now we're going to shoot here. The assault centurions are going to go first, I think, and then the aggressors are going to pick up afterwards. So, one set of flamers are going to go into here because that's all they can reach. From him. Yeah. This set of flamers is going to go into here because that's all they can reach. Yep. And then the other three sets of flamers are going to go into the tank commander. Yeah. Then all the bolters are going to go into that crusader. Rude. Very. Very rude. So we'll be back with armor saves. So we'll do the flamers first. <laughs> oh, actually, we'll do the flamers. Do we'll the do into flamers. the crusaders. It gets five shots. Into the warden gets seven shots, and then into the tank commander gets two, eight, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen shots. Great. We'll be back with armor saves. True. Okay, so one wound on here, one wound on here, eight wounds on him. So start here. Yeah, four plus save, it's minus one because I'm in the tactical doctrine. Yep. Takes a wound. Hooray, over here. Cool. Okay. Eight saves on the tank commander. So this is going to be four ups as well. Hot. Very good, so it takes five. Okay. okay, so that's the end of the flamers. Now it's time for the bolters. Okay, so all of them get 12 shots times five. That's some. Thanks, Neil. That's 60 shots. I'm using my tactical genius to work that one out. So 60 shots, hitting on twos re-rolling because of Lias. And then wounded on fives, did 20 wounds, which is better than average. Funnily cool. enough. So 24 up saves, Neil. Feeling ill again. <laughs> I mean, you can't kill him. I can't kill him. No. I mean, you'll watch me fail 20 saves, and then you'll kill him with scout snipers, probably. Probably. So now hit on three because he is crazy. And do mortal wounds on a five. Yeah. Roll it, four ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh no. no. It's not too bad actually. I mean it's It's about normal for you. 
<laughs> it's a straight half. It's just literally half, so 10 damage. So he's taking 11, right? No, because he made his save earlier. Oh yeah, of course, so he's, he's taking 10, just taken 14. 10. That is, a, that is a big game hunter point though, just from those wounds. Which is nice. Okay, so we've got aggressors and we've got scouts left. So I think the aggressors who have a 21 inch range now because of their, um, because of long range marksmen. I think we're gonna go into, doo -doo 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 -doo. Keep, for some reason I keep, every time I think about shooting something I get who wants to be a millionaire. Is that your final answer? Final answer? Do 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 do. <laughs> um, I think I'll be cheeky and put two of the D6 shots into the tank commander, but then the rest into the um, knight. Yeah, this crusader. Yeah, <coughs> so two D6 shots into the commander, so you get seven, and then four D6 shots in, uh, sorry, three D6 shots into the knight, so that gets nine, and then he gets all the hands as well. Back in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so the aggressors did two wounds into the tank commander and then nine into the crusader. So two into the tank commander. Very good. That's two wounds. Yeah. yeah. Five. <laughs> and then nine into the knight. These are also minus one. They are also minus one. Huh. Well, that was not bad. Two not wounds. Not unpleasant. Two wounds, so he's down to 12. All right. So then the scouts are going to have a go. Also at your knight. Can they do 12 wounds? I don't like that. Uh, they can do a maximum of 10. Don't like your scouts. No. <laughs> so, because they would be minus one, but because you're a character, get plus one. Yeah. So, so threes to hit, we roll in. One missed. And then fives to wound. Okay, so that's two wounds. And it, because it's because six plus does a mortal wound, that's two mortal wounds in addition. So it's two wounds plus two armor saves and no AP because it's a heavy weapon. Oh, so you don't get tactical doctrine on this? No. Right. So two three ups. So you make a boat, but you do take two wounds because of the mortals. That is manageable. That is manageable, yes. Okay. Can live with that. So, Lyre, turn. not yet. So Lias can't actually see the Crusader or the tank commander. Which is can you actually see anybody? You can see this guy. Is that not a ruin? Well, it's not a window or a wall. Okay. There's no door. So he's gonna shoot into here. So he's an assault three, strength five, minus three, and d3 damage. Gun. This is it's broken. He's unreal. So he's gonna shoot into this knight. It'll be broken in there. So we roll him. <laughs> Three hits. And then five. One wound. Minus. Minus four because of the tactical doctrine. Okay. So five up. What'd you make? Right. Okay. Let's, cool. let's just let's just forget that ever happened. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. So the chaplain dreadnought is gonna shoot Stormbolter and his last cannon into that knight. So Stormbolter first. One hit. Sixes. One wound. One AP. Uh, I'm going to be rotating my iron shields against this large cannon, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, I thought I should be expect it. So, so two, D, two shots, two hits. Three's to wound. Two wounds, Neil. So, two four bin ones. Two you failed four. one. The large cannon, the rotate did nothing. Well, you three and a five. it made me feel better. It did it. I've got CP that I've got to do something with. One. I'll take that. Good, because you've not wound. got much choice. <laughs> That's one wound. Okay. So he's taken one wound. Certainly is. Okay, so that is my shooting. I went terrible. Went great, really. That went, mm. I mean, it definitely could have gone worse, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've seen your shooting. Yeah. That definitely could have been more horrific. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's the end of the shooting phase. Let's go into the charge phase. Okay guys, so I did shoot the Thunderfire Cannon and managed to kill one Guardsman, which is terrible. So these guys, actually at the start of the charge phase, Neil, mm. welcome to the start. Welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, yes. Pleasant. Very good. Mm. The start of the charge phase, I'm going to use Raven's Blade. What's that then? So I choose an enemy target. Oh, do you have to? I don't have to, but I'd also save CP if I didn't. Well, I mean, I see no reason why to do this. I'm going to choose him over there. Okay, well, I mean, he is further away than the initial drop, but, you know. I mean, he's just, over, he's, he's like nearly 10 inches away, but that's still 9 inch, technically, in the terms of charging. So if I choose him, if any Raven Guard charge him and no one else, I can re-roll the dice when charging. To the distance? Yes. Right. So I'm going to choose him, that's one CP. Okay. Is that okay? No. Okay. So first of all, we're going to charge these scouts into your guardsmen. Okay. 
I'm going to roll the charge range. The, they get an 8 inch charge, so they definitely fail because you pulled the closest one off. Pull, pulled the closest 4 off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll do my overwatch in a bit. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just take them off. I'm going to charge. Uh, you know you're going to die to a thermal cannon either way, don't you? I'm not. They're both going to fail the charges and I'm going to kill them. Well, guess what? The battery's about to die. <laughs> and we're back. I'm going to charge the knight with... Thunderfire cannon. Not the crew, just the Thunderfire cannon. Just throw the cannon at me. The little chaplain. <laughs> little chaplain boy. <laughs> little chaplain boy is going to take one for the team. And he's going to charge, he's going to charge first. <laughs> D6 shots from the metal cannon. That's 5 Neil. Don't like the look of that. You've got to hit though. You've got to hit. Easy. You've got to hit. You, didn't, you missed. Not, not so easy. Stubber. Stubber. Go for it. Oh that hits. You hit. What's the wound? Obviously that hit. Turn it saved. Passed. Charge range. Don't fail. I get plus one, it's a five inch. Train. <laughs> Let me go to there. The Chaplain Dreadnought is in the charge with plus one. With a seven, easy. Easy. Bop. Okay, right. The Centurions are gonna charge the Crusade. Would you like to overwatch? Certainly would. Cool. Start with the Yeah. One hit. So, do I get through all my ones for my I first night? So. Two hits. Awesome. It was Three hits. worth it. So worth it for a win. Doesn't do a win. Uh, Storm Spear? Yeah. Nope. Uh, battle Cannon? Yeah. For five shot. shots. I feel like this isn't worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 shots for Endless Fury. Mm -hmm. Reroll once. So two sixes, which is four hits. Don't just take those. Mm -hmm. That is three wounds. Uh, take two damage. And I think I may have run out of guns. Uh, Yes. Charge range. So I'm ten, just over ten. Yes, There's a ten inch charge. Enough. I have hungry for battle, so I get plus one. Yep. So no. Liars give me plus one to charge. So eight inch charge. With reroll in the dice. Don't fail it. No pressure. That's unfortunate. At least you get to use your rules. You get to play the game fun. So that's a seven. <laughs> ah! Okay. So <laughs> uh, the aggressors. Are going to charge. They could probably only charge the warden because they're. They're going to charge the warden. The warden's going to overwatch it. It really is. Stop it. No. Nope. Mm, non endless fury gatling cannon. Yeah. I'll have to recount my dice because it's not more dice. So it's only 12 dice this time. Mm -hmm. And. Three hits. Nearly gets the same amount of hits. Very good. Three, three. Two wounds. Three five ups, two five ups. So two damage, one's down to one wound. Charge range. He's within it's nine. I get plus two. It's a seven. Which I get. It's a nine inch charge. So I'll move them in. And then the scouts, who are, if they go down two, are within nine of the Lehman Russ. So they're gonna charge him as well. So it's a seven it's a nine inch charge. Heavy water? Yep. Yeah. Um, good. I'm not gonna bother with defensive gunners. Okay. Oh actually do I bother with defensive gunners. Don't matter, I've forgotten him. It's a wound. Kills one. Uh, I don't get grand advance in Overwatch, do I? No, you don't. So, D6 shots. One shot. Yeah. Hits. Very good. Wounds. Wounds. Minus two. Uh, so, uh, five plus. Which fails, so it kills another one. Blurts one. Yeah. So, as I said, I get plus one to charge because I'm hungry for battle. Lyas gives me plus one to charge, so it's two inches down and I'm within nine. Well, just over nine. So it's an Agnes charge. Seven. Great. <laughs> cool. Fantastic. All right, so the aggressors will pile in. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've elected to go with the aggressors first. Reason being is they're a little bit squishier than those guys over there. 
and they don't have an invulnerable, so they've got the worst save. So, uh, they're going to attack, they get a bunch of. The sergeant gets four, everyone else gets three. But it's four statement power fists. Because uh, you're not a character. Okay. Uh, I think that was a two. It doesn't matter if not, I'll check it later. And then four to wound, because you're not a character. It's not terrible. Not terrible. So I get two, four, six, mate, at minus three. Because they have power fists. So six ups. Yep. Saves two. two. Okay, so 43 damage. Take the orange dice. Here we go. Two, four, six, seven. Seven damage. Not bad. Not terrible. Could have been worse. So they take seven. Okay, would you like to intervene? Uh, yes, please. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I presume you're going to go with this one. Certainly am. What would you like to do with him? Because you charge me, I get to reroll my hits. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to put the fist into the chaplain dreadnought so I can then throw him at the chaplain. That'd be alright. I mean, even if it doesn't work, it'll be hilarious. It would be, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So the fist is what? how much damage? Six. Six. Okay. You've got nine wounds, is it? I do have nine wounds, yeah. So, either way, I need to get two wounds through. Yeah, so because of Duty Eternal has changed, I could have made that three damage, which would make it three wounds to have to get through. But now it's only reduces damage by one, so it go from six to five. So it's still two wounds. Yeah. But then I get four attacks. Yeah, you get four attacks, yeah. So, I can hit on fours, rerolling ones and twos. Yeah. If it works, it'll be the best thing I've ever done in the last ten minutes. Yeah. This is true. So I'll and a fact. True. Okay. So, false to hit, we roll one and twos. So, obviously, I roll two ones. Very good. So, two hits. Okay. Strength 14, is it? Or strength 16? Strength 16. Times okay. two. It's two, two wounds. wounds. So, two uh, vulnerables. Minus more than some of it. <laughs> minus three at least. So, two five ups. <coughs> Made one. Take six damage, he's down to three. Did you take five damage? No, because I'm not. Oh, I've got to roll my. That's a stratagem that I'm not using due to eternal. I was saying that if I did use it, it'd make it three damage, which means it'd be worth it. But now, because it only reduces damage by one, it's probably not worth it. Right, got you. Okay, so I've got. I'm a venerable, so uh, six ups. Feel no pains. Makes one, so it's actually got four wounds left. Tasty. Okay. So I can carry on with my attacks now. So we're back with the chaplain. I'm going to do the smash chaplain first. Yeah, okay, so the smash chaplain with the benediction of Fiori is going to go first. So it hits on twos. Rerolling because of the litany. One missed. <laughs> and then it's five to wound, but it'll be minus two and uh, three damage. Yeah. And if I roll a six to wound, it does a mortal wounded addition. Cool. Cool, that's no wounds. Oh, I can look at that. Brilliant. Okay, so the chaplain dreadnought will attack. So he has five attacks on the charge. Hit on twos, rerolling. Tasty. Come on. You mean, you Come really, on now! You really don't have to. It's not compulsory. Okay, it's three to wound. Come on now! <laughs> Two wounds. Minus three. Minus three. Sixes. Yeah. Six Ooh. damage, Neil. Cool. Bloody hell. I'm just not having any luck. Keep rolling ones. Bloody so, Neil. Now you know how the rest of us feel when we have to play you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I've lost five games in a row on chat on the channel. This is terrible. Well, I'm aiming to make it six. <laughs> Okay, go for it. <laughs> would, you like, would you like to strike with your warden? Uh, yes, because I've already fought with him. You certainly have. Um, this is going to be an exercise in tap dancing, I think. It certainly is. Um, because I'm not getting baited with the big swinging choppy thingy. No. That would be a bad idea. If this would be chaos now, this would be a different story. Mm -hmm. So, three to hit. Uh, Rerolling. Yes. Good job. Very good job. So, ten hits. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, three is the wound, however. Three is the wound, yes. Mm, okay. So, seven wounds, six wounds, that's two. Six wounds. Six wounds minus two. Okay, so I failed three. Four. So, one kills one. Yep, so the first one's deed. Yep, so the next three one's peach, yeah. Yeah, they certainly have. So, that's two. Yep, so then the next one kills him. And then the last one. Final one. Three. Three. Oh, tasty. Got three aggressors. Okay. Is that the end of my turn? I think it is. I was a little bit 
I would. It's a bit of a nine that they've sat there and done nothing with an with an eight inch re-rolling charge. That but was, you know, I mean, it happens. That was very actually unlucky. That's, yeah. Yeah. Because normally what you'd expect to get like a five on one of the dice, then you re-roll the other one. You need a four, for example. Yeah. I'm um, sure there's a lot of corn demon players out there with the bay uh, banner of burning blood, three d six charge with re-roll. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Like that, that know exactly how you feel there. Like. Yeah. So <laughs> can they survive? I don't oh, know. Not. <laughs> Probably not. But we'll see. So that's the end of my turn. I get kill one, I get hold one. I actually don't kill a unit. No. So you I get do have kill a morale check to say that. What are you doing for these? So for my guard, it lost four. Yeah. Leadership, I believe, is seven for guardsmen. Two. Oh, good. Five. Okay. So I get kill one. I don't get kill one. I get hold one. I get the bonus because uh, I'm holding. You hold that one. Yeah. You don't have anybody on this one. Right, well, I have the tech marine. He should be on it, but he looks like he's just slipped off because he was being there the entire game. It's like that. Um, Bit sneaky boy. So you don't hold that. I don't one. actually hold that one. No. So I'm a bit, I should have piled in. I'm not. I'm in base. I'm an idiot. <laughs> So it's what not, I should have, it's not not I should have done, I should have gone like that and then fought and then piled into there to grab that objective, but there you go, why not? So Lesson. I failed that one, so I don't get the bonus, but I do hold the same as you now, so you don't get a hold more. No. What I should have done is got bonus and hold more. <laughs> but I also should have so made that charge. Yeah, so what happens is, kids, don't get frustrated when your dice don't work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally for it. Okay, so that's did my turn. I get another big game hunter. I don't get any sappers. Um, again, and I'm not probably not going to be able to get it next turn either. That does max you big game hunters, though. It does max me big, big game hunters, yeah. Uh, and then old school. Um, no, nothing yet because your wall is still alive. He's sat there. It's just. Just. <laughs> just. So we'll see what happens in Neil's turn three. Also, I'm going to stay in the tactical doctrine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do my litanies as well. So on the chaplain dreadnought, the chaplain is going to give the chaplain dreadnought plus one to wound. Which goes off. He's going to give Canticle of Hate on himself, which goes off. And then the Chaplain General is going to do Litany of Hate, which goes off. So all, the, all three Litanies go off. That's the end of my turn, so let's go into Neil's turn three. Okay, guys, that's the end of Neil's movement phase. The Knights all pulling out of combat and getting more aggressive with the Crusader over there. And I think that's about it. I'm going to jury rig that as well. Give him an extra wound? It's D3 wounds, I believe it is. Or is it no, it's it's just extra one, yeah. wound? It's so up to six. So You've also used Machine Spirit Resurgent on that knight so he can act uh, as full. Uh, so he's acting on his full profile for this turn. And that's about it, really. Should we go straight into the shooting phase? Uh, yes. Okay, what would you like to start with? So, this dude. Yes. He is going to put. Uh, he's basically got a choice of two guns, which I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to how many wounds the Tet Marine got? Four. Right, I'm going to put the Thermal Cannon into him, mm -hmm. and the Stubber into him. Okay. I'm not going to use Duty of Tail, because it's pretty rubbish. Okay. Well, you've only got one CP left anyway. And, so it's, not, and it's one CP. It's not worth it. No. Uh, so, Thermal Cannon. Yeah. For two shots. Very good. Who's the hit? Uh, yep, can't do one about that. Uh, three's to wound. Mm -hmm. It's a wound. Five up. It's a one. Okay, goes through. Two d six, pick the highest. Two d six. Yeah. So I thought you said three d six then. Uh, I'm oh gonna go with the six. Funnily enough. Okay, so I've got four wounds remaining. Uh, I have no wounds remaining. Do I explode? I do not. That's the chaplain dead. And the headhunter. Um, stubber. Mm -hmm. It's a hit. <laughs> it's a wound. It makes you safe. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the tank commander yeah. into the centurions. Mm -hmm. So 2d6 shots because he's not moved. Sure. So 10 shots. Mm -hmm. Very good. Goodbye, centurions. If anyone wants to buy them, then they'll be on eBay in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> They're already on eBay. They may be dismantled. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, back up to full fighting capacity. So, yeah. threes, re rolling ones. Sure. Re roll the ones. Mm -hmm. Three missed. And then threes to win, because I can't chance human. And re rolling ones because of me tank cases. Yes. Tasty. So, 
That is oh, six wounds yet again. Six four ups. Okay, so two centurions dead. Yep. And heavy bolter for completion's sake. Mm -hmm. There's all hit. Yeah. And two wounds, minus one. Oh, passed. Sure. Okay, I'll take that. Last time that crusader only killed one centurion. Can he we did. do it again, please? He is yeah. going to shoot the centurions there. Okay. Big Gatler. Big Gatler and the Stubber. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to put the Stubber into the scouts. Okay. Because the Crusader's probably still going to be needed to finish them off, but he's also going to try and be sneaky in the background as well. So off. we'll start off with the Gatler, oh, Flamer into them as well. Okay. Because he has a Flamer. Which yeah, sure. Gatler first. Forgot, pal. Three's to hit. Nine hits. And threes. That is six wounds. Six wounds. I'm consistent today. Six five ups. <laughs> so I made two. Salus, two centurions. Hooray! Um, <laughs> I've lost the game. Hooray! <laughs> D6 heavy flavour. For one. Yep. Doesn't wound. Okay. And stubber into the scoots. Yep. That is two hits. Mm -hmm. One wound. Makes it. Cool. Okay, so me Crusader. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put both Stubbers and uh, Endless Fury into the Scouts. Okay. I want them dead. Mm -hmm. uh, missile Pod into the Centurions. Yeah. Uh, in fact, no. Missile Pod into the them. Aggressors. Battle Cannon into the Aggressors. Okay. All right. Off you go. Okay. So I'll do the Stubbers into the Scouts first because mm -hmm. then they just save Endless Fury time. Aerial ones for the first night. Yep. So they all hit. And fours. Oops. Two wounds. Two wounds. Um, AP minus nothing because it's just a stubber. Yeah. Two dead. And. <coughs> and was fury. Mm -hmm. Into the scouts. Yeah, into the scouts. Yeah, I think that's what dead scouts. No be left, but that was definitely me. Do they miss? They also miss, but one, two sixes, so three, three sixes. sixes, so three extra hits. And three. So that is uh, seven. They're dead. <laughs> okay. And Storm Spear into the aggressors. aggressors. Sure. So they all hit. Mm hmm. Three, two wounds. Threes, two wounds. Both passed. There we go. Aggressors can make saves. <laughs> Rapid fire <laughs> battle cannon. Is that to the aggressors as well? Yeah, it's into the aggressors, yeah. So that's six shots. Mm -hmm. Here are the ones. Nice. So five hits. Yep. Yeah. And threes again. Oh dear. Mm. <laughs> One wound. One wound goes through. Uh, three damage. Three. One. Easy one, two. Okay. Do I have any guns left? No. Oh. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Happy? Uh, Decent turn, to be fair. I killed some scales. You did, yeah. You killed half <laughs> my army as well. Oh, well, there was that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that's in the shoot phase. Let's go into the charge phase. Okay, charge phase, Neil. Who would like to charge where? So, here's going to charge the chaplain. Mm hmm. He's going well, to let's do that first, shall yeah. we? Uh, so, crack grenade. Misses. Off you go. I'm in. Cool. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't get in base because of my level. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get into base, but that, yeah. Uh, he's going to charge your aggressor. Is it? That, not aggressor, centurion. centurion. Okay. Aggressive centurion. So, 2d6 flamers. We get nine. Never fights flame either. <laughs> <laughs> fight uh, flame that's not right. Five. You got nine. Yeah. So five's to wound for your character. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, tasty. five wounds at minus one. I have five dice in my hands as well. Uh, I fell one. Okay. So how many you got left? Uh, 
Nine. You're dead. 14 bolts is hitting on sixes. Great. Not even two. <laughs> um, I oh, you're in. Yeah, yeah, you're in. I think you're in, Neil. You made it. Well done. Okay. Are these charging here by any chance? Certainly is. 2d6 off the top. That's nine again. Tasty. Sixes. <laughs> Take four wounds, Neil. <laughs> four wounds, Neil. They're to hit, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, forgot they're not flamers. Just, just do that again. No biggie. Not for you. One wound, that's one. Saves it. Cool. And then 12 shots, that's six. It takes six of the other collar because I don't know if that's helping or not. <laughs> six of them doing what? Well. One. Nothing. There they're in. You're in. Hooray. Okay. okay. Moonwalk onto you. Cool. All right. Mm. Who would like to strike first? Um, do you want, are you going to intervene? I cannot. I only have one TP. Okay. Well, you just really screwed me because like, you could have transhuman there, which would have made him survive a little bit longer. But there you go. I'm going to do the heroic one last. I'll do my centurion at uh, Crusader first. Yeah. Twelve attacks. So. He is so dead in this turn, by the way. So dead. I mean, I'd like to think so. Yeah. I do feel like, I know I should talk about this at the end, but I do feel like Sappers has forced me to do stuff that I wouldn't want to do with the drop pod. I probably should have just brought it in and nailed this half of the board. I think it's because the FAQ's nerfed Space Marines today. It's really yeah. hard. It's all because of that. It's making me cry. Uh, re rolling, thank mm -hmm. God. Two miss. Yep. Three. Tasty. Nice. So, oh look, six wounds. Six wounds again. <laughs> we'll take three of each, Neil. One more for each, half for each four. So, I failed four. Which is just enough to kill me. <laughs> well, I mean, I do 12 wounds to you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to sort of mosey on this way because you've got a warlord that looks pretty tasty over there for Headhunter. Yeah. Okay. My warlord's there, by the way. Oh. I mean, it's get a character. To, get to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and we'll do the same again with the uh, warden. Sure. He's going to warden you off that centre objective. Yeah. So okay. Let's re-roll them misses. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know why I'm rolling all these dice because I'm just going to get six wounds. You are probably going to get six wounds, to be fair. <laughs> okay. And threes. I mean, as a, I mean. Not far off, that's eight, I think. Yeah, that's eight. Okay, eight wounds. Eight five ups. Here it comes. <sighs> They're dead. <laughs> cool. Right then. I'm not going to be tempted by the fish this time. No? I'm going to do it properly this time. No, I'm just going to tap dance on your warlord. Okay. So. It's, it's a nice idea. It is. But, I mean, it would have been cool to throw your chaplain dreadnought at It would have been. So. Threes to hit. And re-roll. Re-roll in. You missed with half of them. That just more increases my chance of getting six wounds. Yep. Four plus. I've got four plus in one, sorry, if that's something. Four plus. Two. Two plus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look oh, at that, look. Neil. Five wounds. Five wounds this time. Five four-ups. One. Two. Three goes through. Four, five. Two go through, so 2d3 damage. Oh, it's a double one, Neil. Gee. <laughs> Do I see any? I really don't think I need to. Okay. So I've got two, maybe three left. I'll put three there, but we'll double check afterwards. I think chaplains have got four, but. Okay. That's, that's Dark Angel knowledge, though. I don't know if that's Probably right. So I'm going to pile in, and I can pile in six inches because of Cancer Club of Hate. Oh, don't you just hate. Da -da -da -da. Then he's going to hit you with his four attacks, hitting on twos. All hit. Looking for fives. Nothing. Keep walking. Should have given him Mantra of Strength. Knew it. Did you mean Absolutely. to put it there so it was on the objective to hold well, the objective? I, well, I can now get to control it. Okay. Ah, there we go. All right. Is that the end of your turn, Neil? Can I have another one? In a minute. You'll probably table me in that one as well. <laughs> but we'll see. 
That's the end of your turn. You get yeah. kill one, you get hold one, you get the bonus once again because you have three objectives. I do. And you get you max that gangbusters, you get yes. recon. Yes, because he, he's he technically in this there. base. That's another recon. And that's about it. Well done. This is this is really taxing my intellect playing this army. Yes, exactly. So that's the end of Imperial Knights turn three. So let's go into Space Marines. Probably the final turn. Three. Okay, guys, end of the movement phase. The chaplain has done both his listeners. He's put plus one to wing onto the Thunderfire cannon and plus two to charge on himself. He's probably not going to use it, but at least he's there. And he ran away. And he ran away. He did run away. These right. guys have stayed still. Everything else has stayed still. So now the Thunderfire cannon is winning that night on fours, which is quite nice. Over here, Lies and the Scouts are going after the tank because I can charge it, survive the Overwatch, and then stop it over, stop it shooting. And then the Graph Pod is deep struck with the Sapper Drop Pod. Sadly, that I couldn't use properly because I didn't get a first turn because Neil didn't let me. And I've gone second with Raven now twice. I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> uh, these Scouts, the other Sappers are going to go for a little charge against these guys. Hold this objective, kill all them in combat, combat, turn that off, and also gain a Sapper point, which is good. And that's about it. So we start the shooting phase? No. I don't know when you have to use it, but I'm going to be using gravitic amplification on that unit. Yeah. Everybody, everybody knows. We need yes, those. exactly. So, over here, we're going to do some shooting. The chaplain is going to throw a crack grenade. Uh, yeah, he's got fly on six. Hits. One wound, and mine's one. Hoochah! All right. Tech Marine is going to shoot with his plasma gun. Uh, misses. Yeah, he didn't overheat yeah. either, did he? Never overheat. Flamer, one hit. One wound, doesn't wound, it's jump four. Yeah. The two incursors. All hit. Two wounds at minus one. The tactical doctrine which I've stayed in. One wound. wound. Over here there's three guys who can rapid fight because they stood still. Followed by fives, sixes even, nothing. Okay. Right. And the three scouts are gonna shoot the crusader. Oh, they really? hit the threes because you're a character. Re rolling. <laughs> Stop laughing. Five's the wound. Okay, so that's one wound, and it's also a mortal wound. No AP. Take two wounds. That's what Have that. That was what I was laughing at. <laughs> Down to seven. Okay. Lias is going to shoot. Ravenclaw, or whatever it's called, is gone. Um, I'm getting to the point where I kind of want to start putting um, rotate iron shields on my warlord. Okay. Are you doing it? Yeah. Okay. So he's hit three times. He's winning on fours because you're a character. So two wounds at minus four and d3 damage each. So four up save. Four ups, yeah. Well, that helps. Two d3. <laughs> three three wounds. Down to four. Brilliant. Okay. The drop pod is going to shoot the, the <laughs> Crusader. Not. Yeah, but he's a sapper. He can't he's shoot. He's not on an objective. He's hitting on twos. All hit. He's wounded on fives because he's with his storm bolter. Take two wounds at minus one. <laughs> Drop pod is not going to cut score me points, but he is going to take a wound off a crusader. There we go. Okay. Right then. <laughs> I think that's actually made it quite good. So those guys are going to shoot. I'm going to use the signum from the sergeant to make one of them BS two, and he is going, along with one other guy. No. Just him is going to shoot into this knight. <laughs> the other three are going to shoot into this knight. I kind of thought you were going to do that, which is why I still rotated iron shields on that. So. Yeah. Because I'm going to save more now, are you going to just not do it? But at least one of them can shoot twice. Because of the Armorian Cherub. Yeah. It's not actually on the table, but it's not really a model, so it doesn't matter. It's just correctly getting out. Bend the baby. So I'll do the BS2 into him. Because yep. his BS2 is actually hitting on ones. Because you're a character. True story. So hit so hitting on twos. All hit. And then four to wound, re rolling because you're a character. Mm. Loving it. That's three saves on the warlord. Three four ups. Well, Two fails. <laughs> Two D3, re rolling. That's four wounds. Go away, knight. I've do had I, enough of you. Do I blow up and kill you all? Don't say that. I really want to blow up. I know you do. I'm going out in style. You could do you could do heroic last stand where you got blow up on a four plus. I don't need to, I'm just gonna roll the six and go. go for it. It. I'm just gonna do it in style. 
<laughs> that was teetering on the sixth <laughs> thing. That was close. That is the Crusader gone, thank God for that. <laughs> okay, then the other three dudes into the warden. Fours to hit, because I moved. And three's missed, but I'm re-rolling because of Lias. And I'm not a character. And you're not a character, exactly. And then fives to wound re-rolling. So that is ooh, two so far. Could do with a few more lads. Four wounds. Four five ups, so it's minus three. Okay, so, so three go through, so three D three damage, re-rolling. Um What have we got? Seven. Seven. How much cheeky? No, it doesn't pay off. Ten. Seven wounds. Seven. Okay, then I will spend the baby. Which is a term used when you're going to shoot twice. It's only for one model, though, isn't it? Only for one model. Which is going to be the one who's BS2, and he's going to shoot this night as well. Oh, well, didn't he declare his target to be the Crusader? Yep. He did. Is he allowed to split fire? It's not splitting fire, because I get to shoot after I've already... I, once I've shot, I can spend the baby to shoot that model again. Mm, so, now I'm just, so now I'm shooting again. So I start the shooting process again. Cool. First start, first one is shoot, choosing the target. It's going to be him. Cool. In on threes this time, re rolling one. Well, that'll learn you. <laughs> that'll teach me, Neil. I'll teach you I know what I said. <laughs> cool, learn. nothing happened. That'll learn Go you. away. <laughs> <sighs> God damn. God damn, this game is not going my way at all. Should have shot the drop pod twice. It might have done more. Maybe. <laughs> Thunderfire can is going to shoot into him. It. There we go. Got a lot of shots. <laughs> Two's to hit. Full hit. Four's to wound because of catching him with fire. Tasty. Oh, that was a six. A six. So six wounds at minus one. Three wounds. Mm. Four wounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is me rolling dice here. Of course it's four wounds. <laughs> so you got 12 wounds remaining. Certainly have. And he's got nine. He's got nine. Okay. And you've got no more guns left. I've got no more guns, so it's now time for the charge phase. Okay, so these guys are going to charge first into here. Good for you. I get plus one. Cool. I get an eleven. Yeah! Thank God for that. Actually, so I'll move those in a minute. The scouts are going to charge Hammer of Thunder in the boy. Okay, I'm going to shoot you with a storm. Uh, everything. Go for it. I knew you would. Uh, we roll ones for Cadia. Uh, potentially roll it and then we'll look. Yep. Okay. Hammer of Sundrance. Big bad D6 boom. shots. D6 shots, Neil. Two shots. One hit. Okay. Twos. One Squish. six up. Makes it. So, plus <laughs> two to charge, so I'm next to Elias. I get a 10 inch charge. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I'm going to charge them and then I might charge Elias as well. So, guys, we resolved the combat off camera. Oh, actually, you got two, you've got one guardsman left. You get to attack Sergeant. back. Yeah, sorry. Two hits. One dead. <laughs> You're still wrapped, though, so go what away. Is it? <laughs> so I've wrapped the guardsman. I mean, I could fail my leadership test. You could fail your leadership test. So he lost five. five. He's fine. He's fine. There's ah. <laughs> so I failed the charge there. The scouts have gone in. Nothing's happened there. Do you want to attack back? Um, yeah. I am winning on fives though, so. Yeah, I'm winning on twos, I think. Don't no know. hits. You probably get D3 attacks. I oh, know you have three because no, you have six wounds left. Still four. Four, five. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. I score sappers! I'm going to turn this objective off so you can no longer hold it until I'm off that objective. Sound. So, that's the end of my turn. So I'm holding one, two, three. You're actually not holding, you are holding that objective. There's only one of me in there. I've also just turned it off so you can't hold it now. No, you still hold it, you can't score from it. Uh, okay, but yes, I am holding that. I'm holding that and I'm holding that, so I get the bonus point. <laughs> About time. I also get hold more. You do, yes. You do. And you get kill more, Maybe. obviously. Good chance of that. <laughs> yes. Well, you did kill a knight. I did kill a knight. You did kill a warlord. So that's kill one. And warlord. I say the warlord because I took old school. Uh, yeah. I was waiting for the yeah. I knew it was right. So there you go. So I've wrapped him. I've wrapped him. He's passed. So they can't get shot. They can't get shot. He's going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die. They're probably all going to die. And that'll be the end of the game. So let's go into Imperium turn four. Shall we find out what the score is? Do you know what the score is? Uh, 
Um, Did you just do it or should we just double check? I've just done it, but I don't know where to actually look. Scroll to the top. There is that. Oh, it's 17.15 to me. Not bad. Close. It's a closer score than I thought it'd be. So, you're going to spend one CP to make him active full. Mm, or that one. They probably the warden. He's on 12, so he's still at full. Yeah, so it's probably the warden. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll go into <laughs> Imperium 10 4. Okay, guys, end of the movement phase. The company commander's moved over here to make sure Neil secures recon. Don't trust that guardsman's chances. <laughs> no, he's definitely dead. <laughs> Um, then this knight is acting at full wounds obviously, it's not yep. bothered moving because he's holding recon here. So that's my last CP. Yeah, this knight is moved, he's got a choice of stuff to shoot, and then the tank commander and the other guardsmen have just stayed still because mostly they can't move anyway. The tank commander is paralysed with laughter. He is, yeah. I am um, holding him in combat, but now I'm AP what? I've got an AP, but now I'm back to winning on sixes because I've had to move into the tactical doctor uh, assault doctrine. Rubbish. I'm a character, do you not get plus one to win for that? Only whilst in the tactical doctrine. Gutted for you, mate. So I get the AP and the plus one to wound. So, cool. So, shooting phase, Neil. Yes. What would you like to shoot? Grav cannons. Yes. I'm going to shoot Gatling gun. Mm hmm. And to be honest, I might as well throw the stubber in there. You may as well, just to make sure they die. I mean, it'll be really not. Yeah. So, uh, threes. Uh huh. Nice. A healthy start. Healthy start. Threes again. Yep. Yeah. Um, that would be eight wounds. Eight wounds. I've stepped, stepped it up from my six wounds. Now it's eight wounds. Five wounds. So one, two, three, four. Kills four of them. So I'm going to leave a grav cannon alive, funnily enough. I'll wait till I've done the stuff. Let's do the stuff, but yeah. That's two hits. One, one wound. wound. One Get it in the face. Thank you. Uh, come on now. No. Not That's allowed. the graph done. I mean, it was nice while it lasted. Yeah. I should have brought it down turn two, I think, as we said earlier. But carry on. Hindsight and all that. Hindsight, yeah. So I'm going to put the uh, stubber into the chaplain mm -hmm. and the thermal cannon into the tech ring. Okay. Start with the stubber. Yep. Yeah. I'm not even going to like the cool knights no, don't look what they're doing. No. So, so stubber. Two hits. Yep, four to wound. One wound. Made it. Thermal cannon into the tech marine. Set it is. Five times. Very good. I heard you like tech, bro. Check this out. Tech this out. Four missed. Four hits. Twos. That would be... Two wounds. <laughs> minus four. four. So it's technically touching cover, so it'd be five ups. Oops, yeah. Which I failed one, so 2d6 damage. That was six six damage. wounds. That is two kills, because that's the Thunderfire Cannon as well as the Tech Marine. Well done. Hooray. <laughs> and I think that's it for shooting. Um, tank Commander's going to fire his last pistol in combat. Well done. Oh, yeah, well, the guards, Guardsman is. Guardsman can, yeah. Misses. Cool. All right, so that's the end of that. So let's go into the charge phase. Natural. OK, so <laughs> the charge phase. Are you going to charge my chaplain? Certainly am. Then go for it. You're going to throw a crack grenade at me? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you. Cool. <laughs> Five inches. Very good. Think. Okay. Um, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. You want to fight there? Yeah. Go for it. I want to tap dance on your face because, mm -hmm. you know, reasons. I think you're going to again. I mean, there's every chance. There is. Are you rolling? So we'll miss. Mm -hmm. And twos. Okay, so ten wounds. Ten wounds. I mean, just to pad this out, you can roll one at a time if you really want. Well, I made a few. It's not bad. I did make. I failed four. You've got two wounds left. I do. You've just taken He's dead. some more. That is Slay the Warlord, even though you didn't right. take it. So I mean, would you like to pass him over? And then when you can pile him three. There you go. Thank you. Um, you know, I might just stay there. Okay. Because, you know. Makes sense. Cool. All right, so that's him done. Guardsman. Um, My pre-engaged one. Yeah, you're pre-engaged I'll go one, there sure. before you pull his arms off. Two hits. Nice. One wound. Get wrecked. 
doesn't oh, this time. You know. My three scouts are going to hit your tank. They hit on threes this time. You know, I got a scout sergeant in there. That's the scout sergeant. And the other two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> and then six is to wound. But it's AP1. So two four ups. <laughs> it made no difference. It would have been three wounds. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> and then my scout's over here. Three hits. Threes. Two wounds at minus one, mate. Loving life. No, no, minus one. Oh, he's dead then. Fine. Be like that. He was loving life. Yeah, the assault option worked. Uh, D3 attacks from my tank commander. Might as well. I mean, he probably couldn't care any less. <laughs> nope. And he hit. Very good. And he wound. I think. He made his hit. I think okay. There could be strength seven actually. They're probably strength eight, I think. Or maybe strength seven. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. So that's the end of your turn. So you get kill like four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. But I also get kill one, so I only need to kill three to match you. Can I kill three? I certainly hold. And I certainly get the bonus. You certainly do. Um, Is that you done? Get recon. Yep, got recon. Got a headhunter. Yes, that's now being done. Quick Ooh. addendum to the score. We got that way wrong last time. It was, it was one point out. Nineteen fifteen, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the score now? The score now is twenty four sixteen to wow. me. Okay. Like you still to have turn four. Indeed. Okay, so what can I do? I'm gonna have to kill that company commander because that's a cheap kill while holding that for sappers. Uh he's gonna try and shoot him. And everything else is gonna shoot him to try and kill him and then he's gonna charge into the tank commander so I can't get shot. Good then he's going to kill him in combat in your turn and then I can act as normal. That's the game plan. But we'll see what happens in my turn four. It's a plan. Okay guys, end the movement phase. It's probably come up on screen already but I obviously couldn't score sappers with these because they made attacks. I'm up to. It's only one point loss there. Yeah. So I'd say, Neil say it's one point loss, which is fair. But it's also a four point loss over the game because he can't be a sapper and they're, they're having to kill stuff. So I was just saying maybe I should have gone for recon because I'm actually in all four corners of the board now. But there we go. It's the first time you tried though, at least. At least yeah, you, learn, you learn it. Yeah. Lias has moved over there. He's going to shoot over here and then charge into that tank so he can't get shot. Rude. These guys have jumped onto that objective and this one. So at least they'll get hold more in the bonus. It's shooting phase, Neil. What range is this gun? Is it 24? 24, but I get plus 3 because I'm long range marksman. So 27. Go for it. The scouts are going to shoot into that company commander. Cool. I'm going to duck. All hit. Didn't work. Three's to wound. Four wounds. Hey, that's how many wounds he's got. Very no good. Five ups. No AP on this, is no there? No AP. So it's four up. Cool. Cool. He's alive. Did he make them all? He made them all. Very good. Okay, Lias is going to shoot into him with his with his super gun. I shouldn't read really the name what it's called. You only ones. You've not really got for his bolt gun, have you? Not really, no. <laughs> Five to wound. One wound at minus three. Cool. Makes it. Uh, the drop pad will do the same. Wound on threes. Wound on sixes. Doesn't wound. The two in case units will rapid fire into him first. Two hits. Sixes. One wound, no AP. Cool. Cool. And then the other ones will do the same. Just three there. We'll set their all game, it would be really good sappers. No wounds. Hurrah. He's in charge into the tank. Cool. Can't do an ult. He's in. Um, I may as well charge into the company commander. I might be able to wrap him and hold the objective. Oh, so would you like to overwatch? Yeah, I'm actually going to throw a frag grenade. I don't think he's got crack grenades. Two, Two shots. shots. Two sixes. One six. Hit. Fives. Doesn't win the moon. So charge range with plus one. With a ten. They're in. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge him to there. I'm moving closer. Ever so slightly holding it. And then the rest are going to pile in and try and wrap him to, so I can't get shot. And then hopefully not die. <laughs> we'll see. And then he'll just move towards that tank if you could please Neil. Thank you. So that's it. So let's go into the fight phase. Be so I can't wrap, so it's just six attacks into the company commander, hitting on threes. That's two right, hits. I'm going to take back the fact that you can kill him. One wound. Five up? Yeah. Nope, takes a wound. Cool. Into Ooh. there, we have Mr. Uh, Raptor Man, Lias is on. He's, he's lost that much faith in him, he doesn't even know what he's called now. No, I'm just <laughs> starting with him. Five <laughs> hits. 
Uh, fires to wound. No, I, I, sorry. I should attack without his sword right now. I'm just going to attack with his hands. Pum pum. I mean, so yeah. I get one wound. One AP. Makes you safe. Reason being, if I attack with his sword now, I might kill him, which means all my scouts will be out and, and he'll be out to be shot. Whereas if I attack with my sword next, I might kill him in your turn, which means during my turn, they can move and shoot as normal. But if you kill him in your my turn, mm -hmm. I'll explode and kill you all. Potentially. Definitely. So they failed, so my first non charging unit is three scouts. Four well, hits. These might kill him. <laughs> <laughs> one wound at AP1. Oh, cool, fantastic. That's the end of my turn. Hooray! Woo. So, I get hold more. I get kill one. No. I didn't kill one. I do get to attack back my company commander, though. You do, yeah, to be fair. Three attacks, I think. Yeah. Three hits. Uh, only strength three, though. Two so wounds. Naturally, two wounds. One and dead. dead cool. So. And the tank gets to attack back. Would you like to hit oh, the scouts or yeah, lives? Uh, scouts. For one attack. Which misses. Cool. So I don't get kill one. I get hold and hold more. And the bonus, because I hold one, two, three. Yes. There you go. The bonus is really easy to score in this mission, I'd say. I think it's good, because my experience of ITC from last year was it was very difficult to actually score bonuses in most of the missions. Yeah, it's A true. lot of them were quite Especially this one. So I get that many points. Um, I don't get any of the secondaries. So that's it. Going into your turn five, Neil. Yeah. You ready for your turn five? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into Neil's turn five. Okay, guys. Not much moving has happened. The company commander has jumped out of combat straight up. We're saying that it's three inches each way because we're playing an ITC mission. Yeah. So he's out of combat, um, and then the knights have just basically stayed still. Pretty like much. Holding, getting recon once again because he's in this corner, company commander's in this corner, they're in that corner. So that's your final recon. Yep. And also this guy can shoot whatever he wants and then charge something else as well. So what would you like to shoot? So we'll start off, he's going to shoot everything into those three guys. Okay. So you want to do metal gun first? Big numbers for the uh, thermal cannon. Thank Six. you. There you go. Ask and thou shall receive. Exactly. So threes. Mm -hmm. Two hits. <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> one wound. Uh, one six up. One dead. One dead, uh, one d6. One wound. <laughs> so the stubber. Yep. Go for it. Just two hits. I mean. One wound. Makes you safe. I like to think at least I had a plan. You did have a plan, yeah. It was a good one. It was, not good enough. <laughs> it was a plan. I wouldn't say it was yeah. a good one, but it was a plan. So you got this guy. I'm actually going to fire these guardsmen first. Okay. Because, you know, sure. 20 las guns might kill three scouts. Maybe. Well, 10 las guns because you're not even rapid fire. That's what I said. <coughs> <laughs> Just take 10 off what I said. Mm -hmm. So. What was the hit? Mm, Rerolling ones because they're Canadian. They are Canadian. No, I'm not worth okay. it. Five. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I was not no. worth it. Well, I was about to say that'd be a really bad idea. Because the first thing I do is kill him, which means that knight can't see him. But because you failed so poorly, that he's still there. So now you can tactical shoot Tactical genius. Very good, Neil. This putting my expert tactical yeah. nails into this knight army. And also, don't forget, it's an ITC, so don't get too bloodthirsty on the easy to kill units. Because in your next turn, Fair enough, you've got these, so they're an easy kill if you can roll. <coughs> but in your next turn, if these wasn't, these weren't there, they're in locked in combat, so you'd actually have no units to kill. Whereas now you've got a drop pod and a scout. Because what you were going to do is kill them with the guardsman, then kill that with the warden, right? Uh, essentially, maybe. But you've already killed one. Are well, you going to kill one? And I'm probably not going to kill one. I, I should kill one. Should kill one. Should yes. Kill one. You're definitely going to kill one with him over there. You should. What? All it is, this is just an example of ITC. Don't get yes. too bloodthirsty. Correct. Because then you still have cheap units to kill later. Yes. Plus, you can then push it to the sixth turn. Exactly. Farm a bit more. Yeah. So, if you killed those two, maybe you wouldn't have another unit to kill in turn six, so I'd get kill and kill more, maybe. Yeah. Good point. But there you go. So, Gatling Cannon yeah. into the, the scouts. Yeah, it's the scouts. the hit. And it's not the fancy one. 
No. But I mean, it seems to be doing a lot more Beast damage than the fancy one. It does, yeah. Nice. Six wounds. Six wounds. <laughs> Hooray, first one. Dead. Five. The other five. Uh, so this will be five up to them. Dead. Two dead. There's two left. No, they're dead. There was two left, but then I lost two more. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Huh. So, would you like to charge? Yeah. Yeah? Would you like to overwatch? I would. I'm going to throw a crack grenade in the bolter. So I throw the bolter first. <laughs> <laughs> One hit. Doesn't wound. Might as well at this point. <laughs> yeah, crack grenade. Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, I'm in. I think you're in, yeah. Okay. You're definitely in. Okay. Okay, so, so 12 attacks. Uh, yep. Here we go. I was about to say, do I still have that many attacks with that many wounds, but I haven't changed since I've stood on the chapel. Technically, you're in the top bracket, though, I believe. But if not, we both made mistakes, so never mind. I think we've all made mistakes. We've all made mistakes in terms of life. Three rolls. Ready for your six wounds? Yeah. I've got six dice in my hand. Mate, is that actually six? That's actually six. Oh, it's, seven. Seven. No, it's, oh, it's strength eight, aren't I? Sorry. Hang on, roll a different dice for number seven. Oh, I made a few. So only four D3 go through. There's only two left, so if you're on all ones, they're definitely dead. For the first one, kills, kills one. one. Second one, kills, kills one. one. Um, they all kill one. Yeah. Well done. So that's them done. Would you like to pass them over? Certainly would. Thank you very much. Tasty. Would you like to pile in? You get shuffled towards the, the drop pod. Uh, I can't actually get out of rapid fire, so... You cannot. No. I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference. No. The tank gets to attack. Yeah, D3. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting the scouts. One. Okay. No, you're not. Well, I'm not actually hitting anybody. No. So the scouts will attack you, then I'm going to double check at, uh, liars. So we rolling because of liars. Five hit. Sixes. One wound at AP1. Cool. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna to have to double check what his sword does. Okay, so <laughs> the malice was the gun, but Raven claws his sword. So it's two to hit, re-roll in. I'll hit. So it's turn four, but it is minus four in the assault doctrine. One wound at minus four and two damage. Cool. So you take two wounds. Bizarre. That's a start. Okay, is that the end of your turn? I believe so. Kill one, hold one, bonus, hold more. Uh, kills two. No, it's it's my, two isn't it? yeah, yeah, so it's my turn now, Neil. Oh no, I'm just counting. You've killed two. Very good. Okay. So I may not just do my turn on camera. I'm not going to move. You're going to bolt me point. first. They're going to bolt here. They're going to do a wound. They are going to do a wound. But no. That's three hits. Sixes. Okay. No, but no. The drop pod will do the same. It's this one. The same night. Same night. I'll hit. Come on, drop pod. You do it before you can do it again. Nothing. Cool. Awesome. Bolt pistols? Four bolt pistols. We roll in. Four bolt pistols? Yeah, I've rolled liars into there, so I'll pretend he missed. No wounds. Come back. I'll do liars first. Yep. <gasps> I don't want to use my big sword. I'm going to put one attack into his big sword. Two attacks into his big sword. Two normal. So two normal. We. Both hit. Sixes. Nothing. Sword. Two hits, six hits, nothing. Scout. Oh, hang on. I get my I get my single attack into uh, your scout. Okay. Scout. Four, all hit. Two wounds at minus one. Perfection. Take a damage. Down to down to two. Down to two. Right. Okay. Do your worst. <laughs> now let's let's just do the score quickly. I get hold. I get hold one. You get hold one. I get kill more. Mm -hmm. You do not get the bonus. I do not get the bonus now. Uh, I did actually tick a recon on there as well. Yeah. Don't get sappers, do you? Nope. I don't have it. Well, I have the drop pod. who's start doing nothing. So going into round six, the scores currently are thirty eighteen. Okay. I think you've won this one, Neil. So we'll just we'll just finish the turn and we'll Let's be back in a few minutes. All right, Neil's twisted me. I'm going to film it. He's going to shoot everything into these guys. So thermal cannon. Yeah. Five, Five shots. shots. It's not enough. It's still going to get six wounds though. It's not enough. 
Five hits. Twos. Five wounds. Minus four. Six ups. So five up. No, six ups. I made one, so four four go through. So first one kills one. You've got three left, Neil. You can fail. I always can fail. Kills one. one dead? No, you can't fail. Kills another one. That's the unit. Let's kill one. Cool. Gatling okay. gun and Stubber are going into the drop pod from the warden. Okay. We should say the only thing that we was him and then those guardsmen over there. Yeah, the guardsmen wanted to bravely not see the tank commander have all his paint pulled off. Okay. Seemed indecent. Yeah. So, fourth hit for the Gatling gun. Mm-hmm. So this is why I wanted to do a single wound to him, so he dropped the bracket. <laughs> uh, you're top of six, aren't you? I am, yeah. yeah. So it's two wounds, minus two. Okay. Fail them both. Four damage, he's down to four. Uh, Stubber? Yeah. One wound. Cool. Takes a wound. Down to three. Down to three. Is that it? Yeah. Cool, so you killed one. I did. Is your tank gonna attack? Yeah. I'm hit a, on a nudger scale. You nope. not. Right, okay, this is my time to shine now. So Neil's only killed one, so my game plan is to kill him now, then move, then kill them, to get kill, kill more, hold, and the bonus. You don't get kill more if it's in your turn. I don't get kill one plus, but uh, I do get it does add up to kill more. Because basically you got, did you kill a unit in your turn? Get a point. Did you kill more units in that battle round? Get so what point. you're actually going to do is you're going to kill that. It's going to yeah. explode. Kill all the scouts. You did say that earlier. I did. So we're probably going to see it happen. <laughs> the scouts will go first. <laughs> okay. We roll into the flyers. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Sixes. Kill it. Nothing. Come on. Right, Lias, come on. You just need to get one move through. It's one in six chance. You've already got four attacks, but it's easy peasy. We roll in. Do it. Okay. Do it. Do you remember turn one where I had to kill that knight and I should have cheered in glory? Yeah. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. I want to explode. <gasps> I've got one wound. At minus four. Because of the assault doctrine. Do you blow up on a six? Yes. I mean, I technically, did. yes. Yes! <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. We got kill one. The well, kill can't, for one more. can't actually consolidate there, can they? No, they can't, but Lias can. That's unfortunate. So Lias is going to move, and then we're going to go into my turn, Neil. You are. You ready for this? You ready to this? It's too good to miss. Did it, did it, did it. Okay, so the score is 31-18 to Neil. I may have forgotten that I have already maxed out Headhunter. Yes. So I've moved over there. <coughs> I, move, I, move an extra, I move further than I should it's be. Just, it's just cheating. Yes. <laughs> so, does that drop pod? For glory, he's going to do a wound to him. No, he's not. Three hits. He is. Sixes. One wound, Neil. It's a failure save. No. Right. <laughs> so the scouts... Are he's they... genuinely disappointed in that. I am disappointed. <laughs> the scouts are going to shoot the guardsmen. One of them is going to throw a grenade. The other two are going to shoot snipers. Cool. So the snipers hitting on fours. We're rolling ones and twos. Two hits. Threes to wound. One wound, no AP. That's one dead. That's a good start. Frag grenade. Three shots. Three rolling hits. Three hits. Threes. Three wounds, no AP. Fours. Fours. <coughs> Two wounds. Yeah, sure. One more dead. Okay. Lias with his gun. With malice. Twos to hit. Three hits. Done five, so three's to wound. Three, two wounds at minus three. That's less overwatch. Laius is going to charge into them. Cool. Go for it. So that is watch. There should be six left. Yes, there is six left. Here we go. How many wounds has he got? He's got six. You get two hits. It's enough. One wound. One two up. He's fine. That range. He's in. Scouts. They're in. <coughs> right, scouts are going to go first. Because I'm going to have glory with Lias. I've been saying I've broken his for years. For years. Months. 
Ole Miss. Threes. Two, four, five at minus one. So six ups? Yeah. So that's four dead. Four dead. Five attacks from Elias. All hit. And that is three dead because it's minus four. There are only two left. Neil, I just got kill more. Well done. I get priority order. Pri precious car gas, that's a bonus. I mean, it's only turn six. It's about time you turned up to this game. <laughs> oh, what a terrible <laughs> game. Oh, man. Oh, I just had so much like crap luck. I got like, <laughs> so unlucky to only kill one night turn one to not be able to do any other damage. Oh, what a game. Well, thank you very much, Neil. You win. Well done. I think I mean, the score's probably like 23 32. Um, and uh, you got. We'll work, we'll work it out, we'll be back in a second. So guys, there you go, that was new ITC, new Space Marines. Uh, clearly they nerfed them way too much and I'm very disappointed. Uh, the final score was 34-24 to Neil. Congrats, Thank well you. done. It's about time you won a game, That's especially my, against uh, me. First game I've won all year. It is, it's also your first game. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it was quite nice to see uh, the new tank aces. That was cool. Yeah. We've um, only won, so it was pretty good with Hammer of Sunderance. Yeah, I mean... It's the first time I've used the My Guard have been on the channel properly. I think that's actually a very good combination. Yeah. That I, I so. probably haven't stumbled across because it's not obvious. Yeah. Because if yeah. I've noticed it, other people have probably noticed a good battle cannon re-rolling twos to wound, both yeah. ends to wound. I think, I think I mentioned at the start as well that the other one that's quite obvious is the extra AP to make it minus three. It is. Which is good. Because you then you make your main aggressors have a six up save. Yeah, but and have a five up, which is really good. When you model count in the units that low, and you're doing that flat three damage. Mm. You saving one or two more from quite a lot of shots. Yeah, probably won't make that much of a difference. And I think that did come true. Mm -hmm. Being able to just put more wounds on you to make still terrible make more five saves, up yeah. saves and five up saves, guardsman save. Mm -hmm. Is it a good? Is it better a five up better than a six up? Yes, but it's still awful. Yeah, true. But then again, what you could do is, if you had multiple, maybe you'd split them up, and that'd be like another good option for the hammer of Sunderance. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that was new Raven Guard. So I think, I think the game's always going to be different if I go first. Um, but we are just rolling it, and I'm just going second. So hopefully, the next game when I use Raven Guard, I go first. Um, but again, I'm having the same issue where I don't really have an alpha if I don't go first. I mean, I had the graph cannons, which is actually quite good. That was actually nice, and I think leaving the Centurions there was quite good, but you won't always have a deployment where you can hide a unit of Graph Centurions. Yeah. Turn one. I mean, it's a nice taster for the start of the year, to be honest, because my mm -hmm. plan for this year is I'm going to try and get my Chaos Knights up and ready, and they're going to yeah. be my sort of challenge army. Mm -hmm. So, using Mikey's Knights, mm -hmm. it's a good... I mean, they were Imperial Knights. Mikey Knights, and obviously, as mentioned, Kiert's Knight. Lovely night. It's absolutely beautiful. Thanks again. Um, he gifted me this in as again in Amsterdam. Proper legend. Quite proudly stood in the middle of the table like a boss all game and was just he did, like, yeah, just nope. absolutely dominated the battlefield. I was thinking about using him as a chaos knight as well because he's got like this cool tribal. So we'll see. But thank you again for this night. Super cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. Though. So the new ITC is always changing. Um, I think I think it's a, mostly for the better. Yeah. The only downside is no seas. Which I've already made my opinion quite clear is bad. I'm, I mean, I'm a very old school player. Most of mm -hmm. my, most of my gaming mm -hmm. came from third and fourth edition. Yeah. Um, so C's never existed to my kind of play that I'm used to. So it feels weird knowing it's not there, but it doesn't feel terrible because yeah. it never used to be there. Yeah, I suppose the thing is, is it does it, it, it stops feels bad moments where it's like, I'm going first, oh no, I've just been seized and that's caused me to lose the game. But what it does do, it makes, it allows you, for example, when we're talking about your deployment, you're like, oh, well, I might do this. And I was like, you know, I can't seize. You can just deploy on the front line. Yeah, I mean, but And you can just be so aggressive and there's no repercussions, which is what the downside of no seize is. Yeah. The seize doesn't come up very often. It's only one in six chance. It does though, doesn't it? That's the thing. It's one of those things that it should only happen one in six of your game. So if you're yeah. only playing two one days with three games in each tournament, you it'll happen, happen once. once in two tournaments. Yeah. But we all know that... That's only that. if you go first. So it might not even happen once every... So it's basically oh. one in every 12 games because 50-50 you're going first or not. Yeah. But not to cover all ground, if you... Mm -hmm. 
believe you're worried about going sec or going second. You mm -hmm. will build an army defensively to go second. Yeah, exactly. So you might start seeing rhinos appear or the impulses. Impulses, yeah, the transports. Not to rush, but to basically Protect. you've got to kill that first yeah. before you get to actually what's inside. Yeah, it's interesting. As I said it's because there's just no repercussion to because you'd never deploy all your knights on the front line unless you were like, I'm gonna do it. I'll yeah. give it a go, yeah. and I mean, then yeah. I could get seized on. But now there's just like I can't get seized on. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. It's going to hammer combat armies, though. Yeah, orcs and so. tyranids never like going second anyway. Yeah, even with the siege. No, and just... now before you've even started, you know you can't. So it's interesting. But let us know what you think in the comments. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. You're literally helping keep the lights on. One day we may be able to do this full time, so that's always the plan. Uh, but thank you very much for supporting us so far. It is absolutely amazing. And yeah. I love you all very much. And you're all here to witness my 100% success rate in that's 2020. It. That's it. Neil's not going to play another game until 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> exactly. But there you go, guys. So. Thank you very much for watching. We've been Hellstorm, you've been fantastic, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!